This is a very special stream, guys. This is the final retro stream before Street Fighter 6. We are playing KOF 15. Hold on to your butts. I've been wanting to play this for a very, very long time. So we only got one night, so you gotta go through it quick, right? Yeah, this is DualShock 2, which is cool. <clears throat> you mean that KOF? What did you think I meant? I've never seen this game before. I'm so hyped. Well, I have seen it. Stain has showed me pictures. Guys, I said final retro stream. Pay attention. Here they come! <laughs> I remember when KOF 14 first got announced and Stain went crazy and said that game looks like Ape Escape. And I'm like, no it doesn't. And then Stain showed me a picture on his phone of an ape from Ape Escape and I'm like, Oh yeah, it does look like KOF 14. And a meme was born. He said the game looks like Ape Escape. Best way to confuse so many new viewers? Don't worry, I'm gonna change the name right now. I'm just surprised you guys didn't catch on to the meme right away. Guys, I had it on the retro category. The final retro stream. I said KOF 15. Guys, how can I play KOF 15? The matchmaking doesn't work. You guys should have been swifter than that. I'm slow, Vesper. I just, come on guys. Ridiculous that you guys couldn't figure it out. This is the final. Okay, one sec, let me switch up the info. So this is the last retro game for real? Yeah, this is the last retro stream, guys, before Street Fighter 6. It doesn't mean it's the end of retro, but we're gonna be taking a break for a little bit. Then when things slow down, I'm gonna ease everyone back into retro. And then we'll have a schedule where we'll, we'll, you know, we'll bounce to retro every now and then and play Street Fighter 6 real hard. So, guys, I love retro. It's my main passion, man. Retro will never die. We're just taking a little break. So yeah, I only have one night, so we're gonna play some Ape Escape. Uh, we're gonna go hard on this game, guys. Full backseat mode, whatever it takes to hopefully beat it. Uh, I don't care. We gotta get it done. Otherwise, like I said, we can't do two nights for this because I gotta reformat my computer after this and then setting up retro again will be will take me a long time uh but anyways this being the final game uh it's still a special game this game uh is regarded as one of the best games on the playstation it came out pretty late on the playstation and it's also uh one of the first games to utilize the dualshock controller so you use both joysticks so i'm excited about that too so let's check this out we playing kof yeah we're playing kof 15 bro all right. I don't even know what kind of game this is. <laughs> I think it's a puzzle game, though. <laughs> and may oh yeah, maybe later I can show you guys around my room. I have the room set up now too. Wow. Unfortunately, I couldn't set up the lights because, you know, power outages. Where are the subtitles? Where's the options? Are they in the future? Spike, Jake, over here, watch out. Spike, the time station! Evil monkey. No, no, run you too. <laughs> How's the volume, guys? Good? Oh my god, they're so evil. 
No gravity. It's a fun game. I'm excited to play it. It works. It actually works. We did it, Natalie. We did it. Is that roll? The time station is complete. We don't have time for celebrating. We've got to do something. I think this is in the future. All that shit talking, here we are. Spike, can you hear me? Yes. You must listen carefully. Something awful has happened. There's been an accident. The time station has been activated by Spectre and you're being transported back in time. You'll soon arrive in the lost land when dinosaurs roam the earth. Spectre has sent the apes back in time to try to change the course of history. His plans Whoa. for world domination have begun. And if we don't stop the apes, history will be changed forever. <laughs> you're our only chance. It's Planet of the Apes! Gadget inventions, the stun club and the time net were also caught in the transport. I want you to use them to catch the apes and send them back here. The stun club can be used to defend yourself against attackers. And when you use it on the apes, they'll be stunned. And you'll have an extra second to catch them with the time net. There isn't time for any monkey business, Spike. Our fate is in your hands. We're depending on you. Be careful. Okay, interesting. Whoa, who's that? Capture three monkeys. Wow, look at the graphics. Wow, this game is so colorful. Let's go! Whoa, are those Ritz crackers on the top left? What? All right, dual shock. Whoops, <laughs> dual shock. Whoa, gadget option. Here we go. Is this too loud or is this good, guys? Stereo vibration on. Fossil field. We got three monkeys. It's perfect. Okay, let me know. If anything changes. Club your enemies and stun the monkeys. Swing the club around for a 360 attack. You can't catch monkeys without your net. Keep it with you at all times. Okay, we attack with stun club and then we hit him with the net. I guess we're chasing around monkeys. I guess that's why it's called ape escape. So what are the controls then? How do I move? Oh! Oh, okay. This is really weird. The left joystick makes me move. And the right joystick is my attack. So if I put if I move the right joystick up and down, I attack vertically. And if I move it right and left, I attack left and right. So like I said, this is one of the first games to use the the dual shock controller. So this is like a big deal. The two joysticks were born. Remember, N64 only had one joystick and that's why they use the C buttons to look around. Okay, L2 is binoculars. Uh, R1 is jump. Okay, the shoulder button is jump. Oh, we got a double jump. Tilt the stick and swing the stun club in any direction. Beat the enemies by swinging and turning the stun club around. You can also make the monkeys fall down. And that's roll. Press the R1 to jump. Swing the stun club with the right stick. Jump with R1. Cool. You ever play this call? This game looks really sick. It's just it's just getting it's weird getting used to using the right stick. And the mailbox gave me tips. Okay, is that a monkey? Ouch. Take that. <gasps> Turn into a triangle. <laughs> Where are the other buttons? Oh! What's that? L3 is crawl. 
And R3 doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, it takes time for my brain to adjust. Yeah, it does. <laughs> There's a monkey. He's got a, an alarm on his head. Oh! Beat his ass. You're coming with me. <gasps> he dropped some bananas. Oh, it made me slip. Clever bastard. Oh, wait, we gotta catch him with the net. Where's he going? Come back here. Swing the gadgets you're holding with the face buttons. Switch to the time net and catch the monkeys. The time net is spun by tilting or turning the right stick. Okay, lots of tutorials in this game. I like that. Okay, come over here. Get over here. Stop dropping bananas. Got him! <gasps> cool. <gasps> There's more monkeys over here. What's this thing? Can I capture this guy? Ah! I don't think so. Oh! No, you can't. This bites. What? Okay, good. Baby game. Oh, I have three lives, though. Okay, you can't capture these guys. Hey, you turn into a cracker. Hey, there's a there's a monkey up here. How do I get him? What? I like the sirens on their head. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Gotcha. There he goes. Look, he's on the move. Oh, I press I press X to jump. It's R1. Oh, look, it's telling me, hey, you can get to that platform from over here. There's secrets. Okay. Oh, I can't get there from there. You can change the controls. I think using the default controls is good. <laughs> yeah, Bunky, the, the chat couldn't figure it out for some reason. They gave a million hints. Take this. Come here. Yes. Yes. So it ends the level automatically. So that extra monkey is a secret. He was on that platform. I couldn't even figure out how to get to him. Oh, this game's got good music too. Hey, that's roll. Oh, it has a central hub. I love games with central hubs. Step onto the switch to save the game and check out the monkey data. The other rooms are training space and mini game corner. You should try them out. Oh, cool. It's like a giant save button. She's sliming the keyboard. Maybe she's got a mechanical keyboard, guys. Monkey book. Can I return to older levels to get more stuff? Also field. It says where they're from. Speed attack. Dances to loud music. Wants to watch wrestling. <laughs> Has helmet hair problems. Man, it's like uh, the serve bots. Well, we should definitely say it because we already died on the first level. Now, this game is really cool so far. This is a Sony game too, which is interesting. Let's continue the game. Yes. Okay. Throw him in the torture room. 
Be afraid to see the mailboxes and learn from them. Cool. Oops. Okay. I'll be right back one sec, guys. I just gotta take a, a quick break here, and then because uh, I gotta reset these stupid ad things, I switched it because it was it reset because I think it's a new month or June or whatever, so I have to set it so it's like per hour or whatever. Okay, I'll be right back. Ape escape KOF 15 stage. Jeez, you missed out on the meme, dude. I <laughs> I wrote the game as KOF 15, and no one got the joke, and then then I started it up. It was perfect. Finally, a good game. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like this game. I've actually never seen it before. There's like a lot of cool- You can see this game has passion, man. Definitely has passion. Man, I feel good today, guys. I ate a nice big meal today. Pork chops and potatoes and the whole shebang. I'm well fed right now. I feel good. I'll try to have one good uh, final stream together. I, th I thought I saw like when he was AFK, he had like a stereo too, which is pretty cool. It's the the story is uh, <laughs> it starts off real quick. It's kind of, kind of has like a little ape escape story. How many cans of Coke, guys? I told you I've been off off of the Coke Zero for a while now. I've been clean. I've been clean since we celebrated that one time. I, I swear, guys. I swear I haven't been drinking any Coke Zero at all. It's a hot day today, though. I got the fan going extreme right now. What he's doing is trying to catch bugs with it. Look at all these cool AFK animations. It's sick. There was one with like a stereo too. Anyways, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are having an awesome week. What day is it today? It's Sunday? Awesome weekend then. And then we're like five days away, maybe four. From Street Fighter 6. This will be the last retro stream for a while. What did this one say again? Yeah. The time station. The round switch will take you to the stage select area. Behind you, the red switch will take you to the load save. Okay. So we can, we can warp. This is like the training room, I think. Next weekend can't come soon enough. I know. All right, let's check what this is. This is a training space. You can learn to use the gadgets you already have. Practice here if uh, you forget how to use a gadget. I think it's really good for a game like this that they have as many tutorials as possible because like, like I said, DualShock controller, it's a big deal. This is basically like what? Like a tech demo, right? Big giant. Them. I can't hit this arrow. Two. Maybe I can't use these yet? Until later? Let's try switching the night just in case. You probably don't have the gadget for it? Well, how about we... I just quickly go on all the arrows just in case one of these is the gadget for the stun rod. This game is nice and chill. You ever play these games before? No, I've never even seen like gameplay of this game before. I just know what the apes look like because of Stang, and he was making fun of KOF 14. It's very weird. It seems really cool so far. I'm already getting into it. What's this? Oh. This is the mini game corner. To play a mini game, gather the uh, Spectre coins hidden in the stages. Once you collect the number of Spectre coins on the monitor, you can play that mini game. You confirm the number of coins you've collected by pressing the start button and then the circle button. I got like zero. I love, for some reason, I love like central hubs in gaming. I think it's so cool. Okay, 10, 20. It's cool, it, it encourages you to explore. Yo, what's up, Jaeger? Uh, so yeah, like Warden was asking, I have the room finally set up now. 
and uh, in a little bit, I can show you guys a little tour around the room. I mean, it's nothing, you know, crazy special or anything, but I have been talking about it forever now, so I might as well show you guys, right? Uh, okay, this is the stage select. Yeah, the best for loot. Uh, clear, this is the fossil field, this is a new one. Primordial ooze. Oh yeah, because we're going back in Look time. I've got a That's new roll. Gadget. Check it out. This is the water net. Use it when you're underwater. I equipped it with an oxygen meter. Oh I'm no, the swimming the gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Music is experimental. It's got that Tetrisphere kind of vibe. I like it. Is that my nephew stuff? What? The plushies? What are you trying to say? Are you saying I'm a kid? A big kid? Someone ban this guy. The water net appears when you're in the water. Swim around using the left stick. Exit the water by jumping near the surface. Okay. To speed up, press the R1 button while swimming to resurface. The faster you swim, the faster you'll win. Oh, I wasn't trying to say anything. Come on to you, Jaeger. Wow, look guys, I'm swimming. That's so cool. The sign on the left shows how the left and right sticks can be pushed in, like a button. That's so cool! To dive down, press the left stick in. Stop pressing the left stick and you'll swim back towards the surface of the air. Push the left stick in to dive. Tilt away from you to go forward. Swim through the waterway under the waterfall. Guys, this is so cool. They're like, they're making sure that you understand. Because this is new technology back then. You know? This is completely new. And they had to teach kids how to use this new controller. The sign on the left shows how to how the left and right sticks can be pushed in like a button. Okay. Uh, they put a lot of uh, work into analog sticks in this game. Well, dude, they have to justify using two joysticks on a controller. It's cool. The sign on the left shows how. Oh, it shows the same thing again. Okay, so it said L three to dive. Wow. Crazy, I'm using so many buttons on the controller. Guys, this is the evolution of adventure games. Uh oh. Oh no, we need air. Oh no. Cool. This game was groundbreaking. I think it's a big deal. This game is a big deal. Press the right stick in to launch the net. Use it to catch the monkeys in water. There's a monkey in the pool. Catch it by pushing the right stick in. And the exit will try to- I like how they have two, two, two characters telling you the same thing, but in different ways. It's funny. Oh, okay, good. L1 uh, redirects the camera. It's good. Look, guys, there's a- there's an ape in the water. Wait, is that just, uh, an inflatable monkey? Gotcha. <laughs> it's cool. Guys, I'm gonna miss retro, man. I'm, al I'm already missing retro when we're playing retro. I'm gonna miss it, man. I'm gonna miss, uh, us playing these these weird quirky games that we never heard of before and me getting washed. Here's the exit, you passed. Don't forget you can swim fast by pressing the R1 button. You can use the water net anytime in the water. But don't worry, when we return, we'll be back with a bang. Capture four, and there's six total. 
<gasps> it's raining. Pushing the PlayStation to its limits. Let's go. Cool. And the time travel is perfect because it allows them to design some really yeah. cool looking levels. <gasps> What's that? <gasps> is that the Loch Ness Monster? Yeah. Yeah. That guy's in Mario 64. They copied that. Uh, watch your oxygen meter. You'll drown when the oxygen meter is empty. Okay, swim quickly. Got it. Just remind us. <gasps> There's a monkey there. Oh my god, how does he jump so far? What? Oops, I keep forgetting jump is R1. Remember when PS1 games had soul? Guys, look. Everyone needs to chill out because Metal Gear Delta is on Steam. That's all you need to know. That means we have an excuse to go through all the Metal Gear games again. <gasps> look at that, guys. I don't know. What the hell is that? I see a shadow. <gasps> he turned into money. You can take cover by pushing the left stick in. This way. You can crawl to the monkeys without being noticed. <gasps> Stealth! You can swim... Swing the time net with the right stick while undercover. Sneak up to the monkeys and catch them off guard. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> okay. Here we go! <gasps> he doesn't know we're there. He doesn't know. <laughs> Got him. How hot is it over there? It's really hot, but... Uh, like I said, Willie's got the air conditioner on upstairs, and I got a giant ass fan right next to me, so I feel good right now. Yeah, it's an awesome fan. I'll show you guys the fan later. Okay, there's another ape up there. We don't. We need something that helps us move. Can we jump off the lily pad, maybe? <gasps> there's one in the water. We gotta catch him. Uh, is it Archie? Yeah, Locked In Monster, I said that too. They copied that from Mario 64. Mm. How hot is it here? I don't know. Well, you can check the weather. The chat wants to know how hot it is over here right now. It feels like high 20s for me. Uh, Celsius. It's not like a heat wave or anything, it's just hot. <laughs> what is Celsius, guys? You guys always make fun of my education. Got him! We need one more. Yeah, this, this game's got a good soundtrack. It's experimental. Mm. Vesper is an Eskimo. You can't say that anymore, man. Can't say that word anymore, dude. They changed our football team. It's the Edmonton Elks now. Yeah, you cannot say that word anymore. Behave yourself. Oh, you can climb up the trees. Try the double jump. Oh! Bunk. Elks are badass, though. Yeah, elks are kind of cool. Hey, what's this? It's a giant triangle. Whoa, I think it was worth like five or something. What's this one say? Press the L2 button to use the movable camera. You can look around at your surroundings with the left stick. Press the L2 button again to return to the normal camera. Next, I will tell you about the back camera. 
By pressing the L1 button, the camera will move behind you. Use it to turn the camera around quickly. It's cool. What's this one say? If you jump onto a tree, you can climb up and down using the left stick. You're not afraid of heights, right? Have you tried the two-step jump? Press the R1 button and then do a two-step jump and press R1 again. With the two-step jump, you'll reach higher places. Just press the R1 button during the... Guys, this game is deep. It's crazy. It's like teaching me a fighting game. There's so many controls. Oh, guys, I'm climbing up the tree. That's so cool. Let's catch this guy. Wait, I didn't even need to do that. Get over here. So cool. This is the best game for the last retro? Yeah, KOF 15, baby. Uh, by the way, guys, you guys can fully backseat me on this game. Because we need to get it done tonight. So full backseat enabled. You did great. Wow, we got all four. Does the net vaporize the monkeys? We have to send them back through time. They got the static lines on the camera too, true passion. Yeah, because it's the FPS and the hertz are different. That's cool. Yeah, back seating on long yeah, so you guys can treat me like a casual streamer. Alright. Molten lava. Mario 64 chat enabled. Yes. Like I said, when we uh when we go back to retro guys, we're gonna celebrate. We're gonna we're gonna return with a bang. I got a great idea to ease everyone back into retro. And you guys will see the the backseaters return once again. Let's go! With a bang. You're surrounded by a steep cliff. If you fall off, you're finished. Be careful on the edge of a cliff. Use the D-pad or L2 button to move the camera around. The D-pad? Oh, okay. Oh my god, like every button on the controller is being used. This is, must have made the Sony investors just go crazy when they saw this game. And we only have two gadgets, and this game is already really fun. God, this beat. Capcom take notes. This is what music sounds like. Take this. What? He escaped my net. Funk. Where is he going? Get back here. Punk. Kyle Steven Street Fighter 6. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up, Sword? Sword, you missed the big joke, man. I started the stream today and I put the title as KOF 15 final retro stream and no one got the joke Hi -ya. Hi -ya. We gotta get on this platform that's what I thought when I saw the title nice So 
We got the moonlight. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bonk. Oh, it's, this one's really steep. Got to use the steps. Then we can slide down and collect all the stuff. Oh, there's a big one here too. Got it. Oh, you can climb it this way too. Okay, there's pterodactyl eggs. <gasps> Is that an ape hiding under the egg? <gasps> there he is! <laughs> he goes under the other one. Yeah, we traveled back in time and now we're uh, stopping the apes before they change the timeline. What's that? Oh, you can go inside a cave? <gasps> cool. We're not even really in a cave, we're going to the... The T-Rex is very aggressive and won't be hurt by your weapons. Hit the T-Rex and run to the rocks. When the T-Rex runs after you, jump up out of the way. If he hits the head hard enough, that T-Rex just might drop the mo that monkey. Whoa! I get on top of him. So cool. Yo, what's up, Avon? We're celebrating our final retro stream, man. For Street Fighter 6. After this stream, guys, I need to reformat my computer. I haven't reformed my computer in a long, long time. So I have it set up and ready to go. And setting it up retro again will be a huge pain in the ass. But I make sure my computer is back into tryhard mode. Yeah, nice and crispy computer, exactly. I need maximum feeps. So I can react to drive impact. Yeah, I, un I uninstalled Street Fighter V yesterday, guys. But that was a cool Street Fighter V stream. I'm glad you guys wanted to watch the clips and stuff. We need him to bash his head. Bonk. Oh, everything's shaking. Ah! Ape is hanging on hard. Still didn't knock him off yet. Bonk. Oh, there we go. Whack him. Yes. Mm. has to build the dojo server. Yeah, we'll get that all figured out, guys. We're gonna start off with uh two Vesper clubs, and one of them, um, one of them Austin will take care of and he'll organize it for you guys, and then one of them I'll organize. So we'll have two clubs for 200 people. I think that'll be a good start. And then anyone can join. And we'll try to sync our, our jerseys together and have it all set up. No Willy club? Uh, I mean, Willy can start a dojo, but I, I don't know if he, I think he's just gonna join ours, right? But Austin will definitely, you can handle managing it, right? We need someone uh, reliable. <laughs> it's 
Stain, what's up, man? Dude, guys, Stain is here, guys. He is the reason we're playing this game today. Stain, I told them the story. I told them the story of when KOF 14 came out. And you're like, this game looks like Ape Escape. And I didn't know what that was. And we're finally playing it for the first time. I finally get to see it. That's so cool, dude. This is our final retro stream before Street Fighter 6. Super happy. Okay, let's go save real quick. But yeah, once uh, we just gotta figure out what we can use for uh, the club names, because I need to see if um, what kind of letters we can use and stuff, and how how much space, and then we can name the the two clubs. And then I'll let everyone know and you guys can join up. Yeah, super, super pumped. Yo, what's up, Mugen? It's time, dude. Okay, we still got no new gadgets. Okay, now we are in Mysterious Age. So we're in a different timeline now. Look, we got one of the coins for the stage too. That's cool. Thick jungle. Look what I've got, a new gadget. Check it out. We got a new gadget. What is that? Monkey radar. It'll help you track those monkeys down. I'm Ooh. sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. So I, now that we have a tracker, I'm going to assume the levels are going to get a lot bigger now. Let's so go. cool. So many great tutorials in this game. Wow, look at that, guys. This thing is huge. The monkey radar is a gadget for finding monkeys. Turn the radar by rotating the right stick. The sound changes when the radar detects the direction of a monkey. The closer that you are to the monkey, the louder the sound will get. You can find them easily by rotating the right stick. So cool. Hmm. Use the radar to find monkeys hiding in the boxes. The exit will open when you find three monkeys. Find the monkeys by rotating the radar, then step on the red switches to open the boxes. Don't open a box without a monkey or you'll have to start over. Listen to the radar sound. Oh, you gotta do it legit. You can't just guess. <laughs> For sure. Nice! If you like Ape Escape 1, you'll love Ape Escape 2. Yeah, I heard this is like a giant series for this game. Man, I wish a game like this was on the N64, but the N64 controller only has one joystick, guys. Feels bad, man. Why does PlayStation get all the good games? Why did I get an N64? Found another one. And that was the three. To use the monkey radar, press the start button and then the triangle button to go to the gadget screen. You must set each new gadget in order to use them. Okay. You need to forgive yourself for getting an N64 Vesper. You need to let go of the Nintendo. <laughs> You must navigate through thick jungles filled with beasts never seen oh before. My God. Go on to explore the <laughs> temple ruins, but be very careful. The temple is laden with treacherous pathways and dark dungeons. Oh yes, and you may have already. Oh no, no lights. Thing. The apes have varying fields of vision, so in most cases you can sneak up on them by crawling around rather than running after them. You won't be noticed as quickly if you remain low to the ground. You'll discover many great things on your journey, but try to stay focused. 
You must locate all of the apes. Every second that passes gives Spectre a chance to succeed. We're counting on you. Cool. You can't let the Nintendo hate control you anymore, best friend. <gasps> oh no, guys. Hello, Professor. Remember me? You can talk. Me, Spectre, the future leader of the new age. That's right. Apes will soon rule the world just as it should have been from the beginning. Like Planet of the Apes. Spectre, what ha who, what's going on here? What are you planning to do? <laughs> Spectre, oh yes. You're the monkey that performs at the amusement park. What? He's that cute little monkey that everyone loves to come and see? But how? <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> I stumbled onto this incredible invention of yours. This peak point helmet. And it's given me remarkable knowledge and great powers. Oh. And now, I plan to rule the world. And I owe it to you, Professor. Spectre, you must listen to me carefully. It's true that the Peak Point Helmet will augment your intelligence to heighten levels when it's worn. However, it is still incomplete. It's never been tested and may be very dangerous to use. I advise, no, I insist that you bring the Peak Point Helmet back to me immediately. <laughs> bring it back? <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm sorry, Professor, but it's too late. I've already made duplicate helmets for my new army of apes. Duplicate helmets? There's no stopping us now. The future is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Don't try and trick me into giving this helmet back, Professor. <laughs> I'm smarter than you. I even figured out how to use the time station. I've already sent my armies back in time to rewrite history. <laughs> no longer will humans be the dominant species. I will rule this world. <laughs> Don't bother trying to stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Huh, Spike will find you. Just wait, you'll see. We're not gonna stop. Yeah, it is Qua. You take over. But he's hyper intelligent. Spike, that little runt? He doesn't scare me. I've got a surprise for him. <gasps> Jake! Who's that? <laughs> I've always wanted to go up against you. Now here's my chance. Is that Bosch? A great time destroying you and showing you who's the real hero. Damn. What's happening? What's wrong with you? I like roll. Do you realize what you're saying? Do you know who you're talking to? Oh my god. Snap out of it. Pull yourself together. The voice Can acting you so hear good. Me? It's no use. Calm down, so roll. He's been brainwashed and he's being controlled by Spectre. That's right, Professor. You're very perceptive. <laughs> the boy you see here isn't the same anymore. He works for me now. <laughs> I'm in control, and no one, no one can stop me, especially not you. Well, I've got to go now, but I'm sure we'll be talking again soon. Damn. Inafune ripped this off <laughs> so hard. Guys, that helmet's like the Earthworm gym suit. It enhances him. I was wrong, this looks better than KOF 14. <gasps> Six monkeys you gotta capture. That's so cool. Let's go! Yeah, he was already a talented monkey, and then when he put that helmet on, he became super intelligent. And now they know how to use a time machine. Okay, we need to equip our new thingy. Okay. So we wanna assign it. So we can assign to whatever buttons we want. So I'll put it to circle. Excellent controls in this game. Look at the monkeys are hiding somewhere. Find them using the monkey radar. To use a gadget. Okay. Alright. Okay. There might be something. Guys, this is a, a, a real life... Um, carnivorous plant. They fill up with... Uh, water or there's like nectar and stuff at the bottom and then bugs fly at the bottom and then it closes up where did you learn that vesper i don't know i don't remember i just know shit
I pay attention in school when there's like cool things to talk about. Okay, I can't hit those plants. Damn, I'm getting my ass kicked. Can you jump on these like platforms? Oh, there he is. I need one of those guys to be hiding here. Get him! He's fast! There we go. Man, plants are scary. Ah! Oh, so these things don't actually hurt you. They just slow you down. Oh, another one was in here! Locate a monkey and then switch to the monkey camera with the L2 button. Watch the monkeys in action. There are limits to the L2 monkey camera. If the monkeys are too far away, you may not be able to watch them. What? Does he have a gun? And sunglasses? What the hell? These guys are armed to the teeth. Okay, we need... Oh, no. We need to do Metal Gear on this shit. The coolest monkey there is. Dude, this is like uh, uh, Metal Gear, the NES version, at the starting when you're in the jungle. The results of my scanning show that there's something on the other side of that valley. You need a flying gadget to get over the valley. If you don't have something like that, I should make one for you. <laughs> Alright, thanks, buddy. See, we return to some of these levels, and then, uh... Speaking of MGS... What about Aqua? You pumped for a Delta? We're definitely gonna play it. Okay, how am I gonna get past this guy? This guy looks super dangerous. I don't know if I should go through the water. The water looks dangerous too. What if I try crawling? He's not looking. This is my chance. Uh oh. You see me? Uh oh. Ah! Holy shit, this place is a fucking war zone. Got him. What is going on? Oh my god, he shot me down. Can't believe you can't attack this guy. Mm -hmm. Yo, what's up, LC? Guys, thanks for all the subs today, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, uh, Wicho. Uh, Sparrow and LC. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, can I go in the water? Can I jump out of bounds? That's for speedrunners. What's this? <laughs> what? Huh? How is that fair? They are advancing too fast. 
Wait, can I go into a, a spaceship too? He's too high up. He's way too high up. Damn it. He was low for a second there. Oh, stupid plant is back. I think he like floats just above me no matter what height I am. Like he's just always lingering. I need more gadgets. Okay, let's go back and check around again. I'll use my radar thing. Blue being chased by drones. No! Oh, somewhere on this tree. Unless he's in one of these things. Oh, maybe he's in here. Oh. No. Oh, it's telling me that one in the UFO, I think. That's strange. Okay, let's keep looking around. There's always something behind a waterfall. Uh, I don't know if I can get on the tree. The only thing I can think of is I like, using these plants as a platform. I don't think it wants us to do that. Then in this area, they said uh, I need something to make me fly. I need gadget. Is there a map in this game? Looks like it. It's selected. Oh, it's like a quick menu for your gadgets. Okay, what's this area now? Oh no, you can actually ride a boat. This river is very dangerous because a strange fish lives here. He'll shock you if you're swimming. I've sent you a rowboat. You must use it. Rotate the left and right sticks to move the oars. Oh no, learn to work the oars together in order to go straight. Guys, this game is a tech demo. To get off the boat, use the R1 to jump. Rotate the oars slowly or you'll get nowhere fast. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's the fish! I think that's a catfish. This game was when the DualShock controller was released? Yeah, it's insane. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> <laughs> I 
I don't know how to use a boat. Do I want to go at the same time or do I want to go one after the other? Like this. How do you use boats? Oh, oh this one turned this way. On, everything's backwards. Oh my god, there he is. Get him. Okay, we got two. Can I climb up on this thing like the monkey? Guys, look, there's a rainbow. Just like in Diablo 3. Oh, you know what movie I, I watched recently, guys? It was an awesome idea by uh, by Willy. I, I, mean, I haven't watched this movie in so long since I was a kid. Have you guys ever heard of the movie Arachnophobia? Or uh, John Goodman's The Exterminator. <laughs> that movie is so fucking good, dude. I haven't watched that movie since I was a kid. It's so good. We watched it uh, the other night. Fuck, it was awesome. From beginning to end. There wasn't like one single bad scene. It was so fucking good. I loved it. You get a turn. How do I... Here we go. There we go. Okay, I'm getting it. Just need to, uh... Need to turn this way. Or... Now I'm trying to get this triangle here. One sec. There we go. Now I just need to... It, like, the game knows when you're rotating the joysticks clockwise or counterclockwise. So it matters. Uh, I just want to turn. Oh god, where am I going? <laughs> Jesus. I'm just doing it slowly. It's not the game, it's me. Just like getting used to it. The current's kind of pushing me too, though. Nice, we got the the big one. Nice, we got another T-shirt. T-shirts are our lives. There we go. Okay. There we go. God. Sticks were a novel thing until the FPS craze, and then when Call of Duty became a console game instead of a PC game. Years of War and Halo. The thing is, I don't kind of, I don't turn on a dime. Maybe uh. PS in 2023. <laughs> okay, we need to get on this little ledge here. We need these crackers. Oh god, no. The fish. Okay. If you find a strange device, use the stun cloud to hit and examine it. How did you like swimming fast with R1 button? That water net can uh, sure go fast, don't you think? So it's a strange object? Or maybe we're about to see one. Mm -hmm. What controller am I using? Oh, a PS4 controller. Oh, right here. This is when you hit the water. 
Bonk. Oh, it's timed. No. Uh-oh. Here we go. Camera. Come with me. There's my boat. Uh, no. No. Hurry. Oh, my God. It's beyond closed. Oh, God. God. Yo, what's up, Miker? You missed out on the joke, dude. I said we we're playing KOF 15 today. You weren't around. Not even close. Yeah. The chat was asking me, Miker, if the matchmaking was working, and that's why I was playing KOF 15 again. And then I started up the game, and they heard the PlayStation sound, and then they slowly realized what was happening. Where you think you're going? <laughs> this looks like Kelly. <laughs> Now what? Uh-oh. More fish. Is that another gate over there? Looks like it. Damn it, I keep turning the wrong way. Oh. Oh. I need the money. Yes. <laughs> God. Ah! God. Jeez. Finally, we got one of them. The the not the, it's not just the graphics that are amazing. It's the the con the controls. It's crazy. Like you use every single button in this game. now oh there's one of those guys right there what the hell he's throwing rocks at me I'm gonna throw in that boiling pot oh that was the whole level no, I still had more to capture. This game is really cool. I want to ace this game, dude. I don't think I'll have enough time, but I'm going to play this game again just so we can ace it. This game is really sick. Should definitely save. Tomba? I never played that game. Is it like another adventure game?
2D platformer? Or 2.5D platformer? Cool. Dark Ruins. Oh, this looks spooky. Who's that? That's not a roll, right? She's got green hair. Yo, what's up, Jojo? This game is sick so far, man. I think I made the right choice, guys. For the final stream game. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I was gonna... I had two memes I was gonna pull on you guys. I was gonna do the KOF 15 joke where we played this game, but I was also thinking of doing the double whammy. I was thinking of doing the KOF 15 and then it's Ape Escape, and then suddenly it changes to other M. I was gonna do the double whammy on you guys, I'm not gonna lie. But you're lucky, I don't have time. <laughs> I don't have time. Otherwise, I would have done it to you guys. If I had more time for more streams, I would have done it to you guys for sure. Thank God. You guys, it would have been fucking hilarious. But be on guard because when I, next time I have an opportunity, I'm going to get I'm going to get you guys. Trust me. <laughs> I want to play that game so badly because of all the fucking hate that game gets. That would have been sick. 10 years from now. Hey, don't say that, man. Man, I'm, I'm definitely grabbing this game's OST right after. What the hell is this thing? Mm. This game's got a crazy uh, D&B uh, soundtrack. It's really good. Uh-oh, Twitch is warning me. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, guys. I will be right back. Yeah, Qual's giving me shit, too, because he's like... Yesterday, when uh, we were taking the breaks, I wasn't playing music, and I guess it was awkward and quiet for, you know, the people that have, like, ad block and shit. And Quad's like, you better get some good music, you know? Mm -mm. Did Vesper ads? Yeah, my room is done now. I'll, sh I'll show you guys the room soon. We'll do, like, a... I'm gonna open my door a bit. It is hot. <clears throat> you missed the idol anime? There's like a million different idol animations, guys. There's like one with like a stereo. He like does different things. Look, he put on uh, sunglasses this time. That's cool. Yeah, this game's got a lot of passion. Guys, it's kind of nice to, like, stretch every hour. We don't do that. I usually just take a break when, like, you know, I gotta go. When I gotta go, you know? But taking it every hour and being coordinated, like, feel a lot better. And, dude, that Street Fighter 6 weekend, uh, it really, like, I'm telling you guys, it really, like, knocked the wind out of me. Like, it was too much, and that was only three days. And I was already winded, like I was like done. I need to take like one, one day break after that. So when this when Street Fighter 6 comes out, like we gotta pace ourselves. So stretching, talk to Willie, see what's going on, you know. I think it, it works out. If you guys weren't around uh yesterday, uh I'm testing out uh using the ads now, right? Because in case you guys don't have ad block or whatever, there's crazy pre-roll ads going on on Twitch now. No matter when you go on the stream, you get ads like crazy. So in order for me to get rid of that, uh, I have to do a certain amount of ads per hour. And what they want you to do is they want me to run three minutes of ads per hour. And then that gets rid of the pre-roll ads completely for the entire stream. And if you guys are subbed to me, then you guys don't see ads at all. So don't even have to worry about that. It's for like the new people that come to the stream. And when I watch streams, like when I'm looking for like RE4 speedruns and stuff, when I go to a stream and I see an ad when I go to it, usually I just close the stream. Like I hate pre-roll ads myself. And don't get me wrong, of course this helps me out too because, you know, I get more money to buy more jury costumes, you know? And then we can take coordinated breaks, so as long as it doesn't annoy you guys too much, uh, I think this is, it's easy to coordinate because it gives me a warning. I can set it to like a 10, 20 minute warning. And Street Fighter 6 will be easy. 
Twitch is damn near unwatchable now. Yeah, they're going super hard. Super, super hard. You can tell the monkey's strength by their attribute levels. See their levels by using the monkey radar's close up view, L2. Weird. It's a good strategy to get the monkeys with the lowest level, lower levels first. That's kind of cool. Yeah, like I said, it, it obviously greatly helps me out. They're like Twitch, they really want every streamer to run like crazy ads. So they give like very, they show you the, the money. It's, it's a strong incentive. I'm like looking at it, I'm like, hmm, interesting. But like I said, with the pre-roll ads, I think it's smarter uh, to control when the ads appear, right? If I don't play ads, Twitch is going to play ads no matter what. You guys will get pre-roll ads. So it's better for me to, to tell you guys when it's going to happen rather than you guys come to the stream and just get blasted by them, right? So. And plus, like I said, if you guys uh, if you guys sub, you don't see the, the, the ads at all. Winky face. So everybody wins. Especially Twitch. They win the most. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Consider making a landing screen when you turn your stream on. Yeah, I already have one scored. I'm just not I'm just not going to show you guys until Street Fighter 6 comes out. Everything's done. Luke has been hard at work, right, Luke? Work to loop to the bone. Another thing, too, is that sometimes you guys won't... When I take a break, sometimes you guys won't see ads. Or sometimes the ads won't be three minutes, they'll be shorter. And I think the reason is, is because uh, it depends on how many uh, buyers bought the ad uh, the ad slots for that day. So, like I said, when we're like near Christmas, like November time or October, they'll probably be three minutes every single time because they'll be bought out by all the ads, right? But when it's slower, like January after Christmas, the ads probably won't be as long. It's, it's like YouTube, basically. Hey! What the hell? There's a monkey there. Too many ads and people leave? Yeah, but... If, like I said, even if I turned off the ads, you get... Uh, the new people that come to the stream get blasted by ads, right? So... No matter what, there's ads. One way or the other. So I think it's smarter for us to, uh... To control when they happen. Plus I get more breaks. Yeah. And then it benefits the new people that come to the stream when I'm playing Street Fighter 6 and it, and it benefits me, obviously. Okay, this guy's way too fast. Hold on, I can... I can check this guy's stats, right? Was it L2? Maybe only... Oh! Searching for gold. Oh, I... I was examining the wrong one. This guy is the one we want. Worn out from running. His speed is almost maxed out. He's super smart. <gasps> no! Oh, I gotta outsmart this guy. Where is he? Oh, there he is. God, it's cool. This is a Sony game, Miker. It's a Sony game, and this is one of the best games on the PlayStation, and one of the first Dual Shock games ever. And I'm very impressed by this game on a technical level. It's very, very impressive. That's where we came from. Let's check over here. Onion guy. 
turn into a cracker. Looks like there's a block inside the ruins that you can push out of your way. Try pushing a block that looks like it's out of place. Okay, we can push blocks. Bunk. What's this say? There's a danger ahead. This area is difficult for beginners. Don't go further unless you've had experience exploring similar areas. Uh-oh, it's a platforming area. Let me look for that block I gotta move first if it's around here. Definitely something up here. Hmm. Mm -hmm. You got a full sleeve of crackers? Yeah. And it's dipped in cheese. How did Nintendo manage to stay alive in the face of opposition like this? They... They strategically brainwash their fans. To buy anything they release. Whoop! Got him. And now what? Wait, what? Uh-oh. Maybe I'm not supposed to be here. Uh-oh. Shit. Oh, there's a thing here. All that Mario, all that Mario and Castlevania 64 practice paid off. Stupid dinosaur bird. Go away. That red switch wants to do something. Push the switch with the stun club or another gadget to try to trigger it. Oh, it opened up something. Is there a secret over here? <laughs> Donkey Kong 64. I actually played that game. Whoa! Where are we going? These areas are pretty big. Not like Tomb Raider big, but... I was like, when, after we finished playing Tomb Raider 1, I was like looking at 3D maps of the stages and it was like super impressive. It's really cool looking at the, the stage designs. <gasps> you guys see that? Look, you can see through the wall and it tells us there's an item there. That's cool. Ow. Current is strong. I gotta collect these triangles. Yeah, I think it's Saturn. That was that was where we were entering, like at the end of our uh, retro adventure. When, before we went on No Limit Retro, we just made it to Sega Saturn. So there was a bunch of Saturn games I wanted to try out, and uh, when we return to Retro, I think it would be a good time to check out some Saturn games. Oh, what's going on here? Won't let me move forward? That's weird. Oh! Hmm. 
The music loop is giving me cancer. Hey, at least it's music. Could be the guile theme or something. Or the jury theme. Oh, no, nice, another t-shirt. Come back here. Man, he's just cruising! Is there a secret underneath this? Yeah, he's insanely fast. Superheroes. Yeah, those Planet of the Ape uh, movies, the the new the new ones, the one with like James Franco and Gary Oldman's in the second one. I really liked the one with uh, Gary Oldman. The second one I thought was really fucking good. The third one was okay. That one has uh, Woody Harrelson, I think. Though you know what's impressive with those movies though is the CG. It's got some of the best CG I've seen in a fucking movie. You know what's crazy though? The 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 CG uh guys that worked on those movies, those Planet of the Ace movies, they do the fucking CG cutscenes for Blizzard video games. How messed up is that? Oh shit. Oh shit! What a waste of talent! <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Guys, Diablo 4 is coming out the same day as Street Fighter 6. What are you guys playing? Diablo 4 or Street Fighter 6? <laughs> mm. There's gotta be a Diablo 4 guy somewhere. Come on. Come out. ARPGs are cringe? Come on. They're not cringe. Do you know the thrill and exhilaration of finding an item and selling it for real money? It's thrilling. Uh, Vesper, I strongly suggest Tomba 2 for you, since you have a YouTube channel for retro. Oh, I, I gotta play Tomba 1, dude. I don't like jumping straight into sequels. Oh, this is an elevator leading back up. For Street Fighter 6, what's the first character you guys are gonna are you guys gonna play in Street Fighter 6? Like who are you going straight in the training mode with? Who's your your number one? Where are you going? No! I hate this guy. Jamie, you sick bastard. Actually, I'm going to Jamie first too, because I need to see if they gave him a fucking buff. Another Jamie? I can you guys are trolling me right now. There's no way. Quaz gonna play Gee first? I think Quaz trolling. You gotta stay on the switch for a while. No trolling going to Jamie one hundred percent. Damn, dude. Lots of Zangief. Can I jump to this one? No! I got greedy. Okay, where the hell am I now? Oh, there's a whole back area here. Where am I? What? What? 
Don't fall off the edge, please. Oh, that's the start of the- Oh, there's a monkey down there. How many more do we need? Is there a way to find out? Oh my god, we need so many. What the hell? He's got a little gun. Zangief's gonna be crazy. Okay. Ike, man. We're gonna do a bunch of things. We're gonna, like I said, we're going straight to Jamie. Checking for buffs real quick. Then I'm gonna... Then, remind me, we have to check the V-step. Check if the V-step's still in the game. Then the Roy. So remind me those three things. Jamie, V-step, the Roy. Those are priority checking. And then... And then we'll go to the new characters, and we'll start going through them one by one. I think that's the plan. I don't need to see... ...anything from the other characters, I don't think. The Roy is that Ken combo? Yeah, THE Ken combo. Okay, what about this area? Wow. We have to see the cautions they gave Jerry and Chun-Li. Oh, you gotta check day one DLC. If they... Man. If they, uh... If they have all the nostalgic costumes on, uh, buyable on day one, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Hopefully they have a bundle pack. Priority, I wanna get Cammy's nostalgic costume. Uh, Cammy's, DJ's... We have to see. Maybe a Jamie. Yeah. Hmm. The Chun-Li costume? Her nostalgic yeah. costume looks pretty cool. Yeah. Don't worry guys. I'll be able to afford them all. I'm playing all these extra ads. It said we can push one of these blocks. Yeah, Kami's nostalgic costume has the camel, because remember we saw that, that leak video like eight months ago. No! My crackers. Yeah, it's with the camel. Yeah, super hype. Vesper, don't lie, you already bought the big money edition. Yes, bro, but it doesn't it doesn't come with the nostalgia costumes, bro. Capcom's going in. I figured out the monkey's lights. Blue means all's well. Yellow means it's on guard. Red means it's in a panic. When the monkeys notice you, the lamp will turn red. When it's red, be careful because the monkey may be violent. It's red. He saw me. You can't move fast though. His speed is like one. <laughs> oh, whoops. Oh. Oh no! <sighs> Stupid bananas. Ah, you little bastard. Are there any Street Fighter 6 pre-order numbers? I don't know. I'm super excited to see the launch for Street Fighter 6, guys. What what did Capcom say their their forecast was? They were hoping for 10 million copies in its lifetime or something? Yeah. 
10 million lifetime. Nice, they're dropping health. It will easily? I don't know, man. Mortal Kombat. Strategic and tactical. They've thought this through. Yeah, the MK numbers, guys. World domination. Guys, there are people... Like... When I'm watching, like, speedrunner streams for RE4 still, and I'm, like, looking at the chat guys, and they're, like, talking about Mortal Kombat, how hyped they are. And I'm, like, trying to control myself, right? Because I'm, you know, incognito. And they're, like... Oh man, Mortal Kombat, it looks so good. And I'm like thinking in my head, how do you know it looks so good? There's no fucking gameplay. And I'm just trying to control myself, you know? And then someone's like, yeah, Street Fighter 6 is coming too. And I'm like, you know, trying not to type in the chat. I'm just like, my eyes are just whining, right? It's like, Street Fighter 6, what do they think about that? What do they think about modern controls? Vesper burner. <laughs> Vesper phone. Dude, I'm serious, man. It, it happens to me all the time, dude. Like I like I told you that one time I went to the mall because I was looking for, uh, you know, merch. And uh, there was those guys in that GameStop or whatever. And one of them was asking to buy a joystick. Like a, a fight stick. And I'm like, fight stick for what? What game? I wonder. You know? Okay, uno mas. Should have bought Felicia. Oh god. Dude, that Felicia statue was like a hundred bucks. Send levels of self-control. I have to. But yeah guys, Mortal Kombat is insanely popular, dude. Because I mostly hear people talk about Mortal Kombat. It's fucking crazy. Still though, Capcom's going hard. You guys saw that uh little Wayne trailer? There was that funny ass meme too, where uh, if you guys saw on the on the official Catcom page, he has like he has like a straight face, and then for the PlayStation page, he's got the PS4 controller and he's like smiling. There's some really funny ass memes, dude. It's like modern controls off, modern controls off. JCVD is gonna be NK1. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Oh, this is the one we can push. Wait, were we supposed to do that? Oh, it broke the floor. Cool. Oh, look, it unlocked a hidden passageway. Mortal Kombat uh, appeals to more casuals. Why does it appeal to more casuals though, guys? Like why? How did they do it? Gore and strings? The graphics and the vi and the violence? The monkey will turn on the fan if they see you. The wind is so strong it'll blow you away. It'll be hard to find if you crawl forward while pressing the left stick in. While crawling, you can pretend you're not there by pressing the right stick in, and you'll be nearly uh, invisible. What? Basically, you push both the sticks in. Pretending you're not there is way more effective than just crawling. What? Uh, huh? That's weird. No! Oh my god, he's got rockets and shit! Uh-oh. Ah! The fucking wind is pushing me. Am I gonna 100% this? I don't think I'll have time. This is my, uh... My last stream of retro, and then I gotta reformat my computer, and then I won't have anything on my computer, so... 
I, have to, I would have to set up everything all over again. It would take too long. But I think I'm going to play this game again. Uh, for sure, because this game is awesome. Got him. Yeah, rip yes. retro, guys. We did it! That was a cool level. Oh, there was an item up there. D4, my computer. What are you talking about? <laughs> hey, guys, let's roll. You did great. Mm -hmm. Okay. Don't forget about Apex. Guys, what's with you guys in these weird conspiracies? Continue. Oh, am I pressing the wrong button? Turn. I was pressing a circle. Almost a year and a half since that Street Fighter 6 clock. The time flies. It did. I did, guys. I told you guys. Time would go by super fast. Hey, let's try, um... Uh, if we can use one of those gadgets in that mini game, or whatever. Time flies, guys. But that's okay, time will fly with Street Fighter 6 as well, you know? And, uh, I think... I think it's nothing but but good, you know, in the future. You know, I, I think... Between the Street Fighter 6... And Retro, and then maybe even some Mortal Kombat in September, like, man, we will always have something to do, guys. It will be amazing. It will be great. I'll be back to the YouTubes again, I'll be working hard, and... I don't know, it's a good feeling. It's just, this is something I've been waiting for for a long time, you know? Yeah, Vesper work. It's gonna be my last, like, big... Big jam, you know? And then after Street Fighter 6, I'll be really old. And then... I'll enter the... The, I don't know... The I don't give a shit streamer phase. The retirement phase. Where all I do is just... React to videos and... <laughs> and talk talk to you guys. Hey, look, it works now. Mm -mm. Oh, wait, we already did this one. All right, all right. Oh, we can't exit now? Final Fantasy 14. Rest or master the Hado, yeah. It'll be retirement retro. I'll be like I'll be like one of those streamers that are like only only the OGs will know who I am. And I'll be like the occasion I'll be playing like retro and then someone will be like, Vesper, how come you don't play Street Fighter 6 anymore? You know? And I'll have like this like giant I'll have like white hair and shit and I'll be like or gray hair. And I'll be like, sure, we don't play that anymore. I mean, you guys, there's there's people that already do that, you know? Vesper, why don't you play fighting games anymore? Vesper, did you, did you, uh, why aren't you playing Strive, Vesper? You know? Okay, I think what these are, guys, they're just able to replay the tutorials that they force you to play, see? So we want to go to the other room. Used to play fighting games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me hit this switch. We don't even have near enough, do we? 
No. This game really rewards you for exploring with all the extra content. Shatter Strike? Cryptic Relics. Look what I've got! A new gadget! Check it out! Here's Whoa. the swing back shooter. Just pull back and shoot. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Cool. You think the voice acting is cringe? It's actually pretty good. And trust me, I've played a lot of retro games. Whoa! Wait, what? Okay, you gotta hold down the joystick and then, uh... You kinda just wiggle it. Pretty sick. Once again, this game is a gigantic tech demo. We got different types of ammunition, too. Oh, wow. <gasps> Feeps. The L2 button will help you hit switches that are out of reach. Press the L2 button to use your slingback shooter with the target view. Adjust your target with the left stick. Now push the L2 button to use the slingback shooter's target view and hit the red switch above the door. Guys, Ocarina of Time copied this game. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. The slingback shooter can use three types of bullets. Normal, flash, guided. When you have the slingback uh, shooter, you can change bullets by pressing the right stick in. Only the normal bullets have an endless supply. When the other bullets run out, pick up items to refill them. Change the bullets by pressing the right stick in. Aim with the L2 button. Cool. Let's try a different ammo. Nope. They're gonna get blasted. Oh, I need them to walk close to each other. I can just hit the floor. Yeah, the AoE's not that crazy. Take that. Nice shooting, good luck out there. When you need a slingback shooter, go to the gadget screen. Yeah, we know how to switch them. Cool. He sounds like Fox from Melee. Yeah, when he goes, hi, yeah. Eight, we have to capture. Oh no, that's the total. I was like, oh my god, we have to capture so many. Let's go! If you focus on the monkeys, the enemy will get you. It's safer to get rid of the enemy first. Okay, we gotta kill the ads. This is a really cool game. Okay, the camera is keeping it like isometric here. Don't forget your slingback shooter. All right. Uh. Okay, we can hit that button. But what's on this other side here? At least to another area. Let's go there first.
Honk. Okay, we can push this. We want to push it on the button. Oh, it releases that cage for us. The, the push the block on the switch puzzle is such a classic. It still exists to this day. Hmm, I wonder why that's shiny. Must be a, a, a graphic thing. Hmm. Yo, Vesser, are you gonna still play Pad for Street Fighter 6? I am. I am. I, I, I am. I am content on playing on Pad. <clears throat> I don't- I think I'm okay on pad 2. Like, I, I can still play pretty well. There are some things, like, right now, the main things that I notice I'm bad on pad is, like, when I- when I cross-cut, I usually do super by accident, and, um, when I walk back and forth and buffer into a move, sometimes I'll do super by accident as well. Like with Jamie, if I walk back and try to do the palm, the core circle back, sometimes I do level 2 by accident. But there's another thing too, guys. I forgot to mention this. Is that uh, I'm like, why do I do this so often? Uh, when we're playing during the beta, and you know what I think it is. This is just a theory. I don't know if this is true, but what I th what I think is is that when you play online in Street Fighter Six, Capcom hides. The rollback is really good because Capcom does a good job at hiding the inputs in that game, and I think there's a longer buffer window online. Like, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed it, but I, I was I swear Negative Edge was on, but it wasn't. And I think what it is, is the depending on the latency of the match, I think there's like giant buffers. And that's why I'm doing like these supers by accident. Because it's trying to mask it. Because of the netcode, right? It's just a theory though, I, I don't know if it's true. But I, I was like, man, I only do this when I play, you know, Street Fighter 6. So. Oh, we can hit this with the slingshot. We gotta hit this bird. Oh no, he blows fire at us. This is so crazy, guys. I'm using both joysticks. Uh, for me, I get uh, inconsistent perfect booms on pad. Yeah, I haven't tested that. I wonder how hard. We didn't play Guile at all during the beta. I gotta see how hard it is to do on pad. I would imagine being easy, though. Because on hitbox, it'd be super easy. Oh, we gotta hit this while moving. Crazy. God, this week is going to be so crazy, guys. I still can't get over how nuts it's going to be. Okay, we already went into that cave. Now what? Now where do we go? Oh, we didn't go down this way yet. Mm -hmm. uh, hi, I just got here. I bring the all-new KOF joke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. I wanted to use- I wanted to use this joke for so long. Oh. Alright, there's more jokes to be had. Whoa, what's this thing? Oh, I can't hurt it? Oh, he's exposed. When he doesn't spin. What's this button do? Oh no! Did open that? What's for both these doors? Should have tilted the stream KOF 15. I did, Joe. That was the joke, bro. You missed it. I put it as KOF 15. I'm like, this is the last retro stream. 
And then I turned on the game and they saw the PlayStation logo and they knew. Right then and there, I got them. Uh, what's the plan this week? No stream till Friday. Uh, I'm reformatting after the stream, so I'm I have to reformat and get everything set up as soon as possible. So I probably will I'll, I'll appear sometime this week for a test stream just to make sure everything's good. But don't forget, guys, Street Fighter Six it comes out officially on Friday. But if it releases around Japan time or midnight, we're probably playing it Thursday going into Friday. So. Ex I, I, if I if I were you guys, I would I would prepare for Thursday evening. Is the most likely we'll be playing it. Thursday evening. Another thing too is uh, how can I word this? I would imagine. Wait, what? Oh, I would imagine that the embargo. And NDA is gonna lift on Thursday, so I'll imagine some madness on Thursday, regardless. <laughs> but I'll be playing Street Fighter VI uh, the official time with you guys. Um, I want to, and at the same time, uh, I don't know if I can talk about this, but, um, hmm. To maintain competitive integrity, uh, I'll have to be completely fair. I'll be starting the same time as everyone. Don't worry. Yeah. So. What did that switch do? <laughs> we know you were. Okay, okay. Yeah, it's okay. You guys understand. You guys understand. I'm sure you guys can put two and two together. You guys can figure out, figure it out what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, so it's, it's all good, man. Speed the camera turn with the L1 button. Once you learn the L1 back camera, you'll like it. Like I said, once again, I like how they both chime in. Okay, we can hit a button there. Is there a button here? Ouch. Are you going to have an official Vesper Arcade review of this game? I want to do one really badly, but the problem is... It would take a long time. You know? Like, it's hard for me... It's hard for me to find time to do videos off stream now. Like, doing a review would probably be better to do one off-stream. But maybe I'll do one on-stream with you guys. It'll be kind of ghetto, you know? But I would love to do a review of Street Fighter VI. Especially from a perspective of somebody who's covered Street Fighter V for seven years, you know? But, I mean... Besides the review thing... Because doing the review is just kind of like a, you know, like a novelty thing. I think I feel like... If you're someone who's on the fence on Street Fighter 6, whether the, if you want to get Street Fighter 6 or not, I think there is more than enough information for you to make your decision yourself, you know? You're gonna know if you're gonna like Street Fighter 6 or not. It's not... There's a, dem there's a demo that's gonna be available forever for you to play on Steam. There's so much footage and people streaming it, like, you're gonna know if you're gonna like it or not. But, I mean, the game looks fantastic. The only thing I really need to see at this point is, uh... The World Tour, right? I can't wait for the World Tour. 
Um, we gotta test out the lobbies, you know, we gotta do some lobbies together. The, the lobbies are huge in this game too, you can fit a lot of players in there. So... Every time I need a review for a game, it's been to not get it. <laughs> Go we get ammo. Wait, where did he go? Oh, he's over there. Got him. Oh, it 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 only didn't stun him. Yes. Has my opinion of this game changed at all in 2.5 hours? No, I, th I think this game is amazing. Like, it has good music. It, it's a fun game. It looks cool. Technically, it's amazing. We should have played this game way earlier, guys. Like, way earlier. This game is sick. Wait, what the hell is this? That's Bosch. I've been waiting for this for a long time. What? This is just between you and me. Follow me. Stadium attack. What now? I'm going for it. What is this? We're racing? Whoa. What is this? Wait, what? How is he so much faster than me? That's not good. Oh my god, he's a platforming god. Damn, how is he so fast? We gotta turn the corners tight. Okay, hold on. No! Why didn't- No! Why didn't he double jump? Uh-oh. No! Oh shit! Oh shit! No! He's gonna make fun of me now. Damn it! I want another try. Jake from RE6. You're pretty good, but it's not over yet. All right, why do you still compliment me? What? Is there a way I can race him again? No. What? Oh, we can. We can. <laughs> I've been with but yeah, I, I think this game is Let's sick. On, like, for real, it's, it's really good. I've never even seen this game before. As much as I talked about it. Why, what do you guys- you guys think this game? I think it's really good. I, if I saw this game, like, during the time when I had an N64, dude, I'd be so salty. Damn, he's, like, faster now, I swear. This is, like, really good. The game design in this is perfect. You gotta keep dipping to, to steer straight. What? Or where are you going? Oh! It's gonna be close! Oh shit. Okay. Just pay attention. Wait! How's he moving so fast? Did you see how fast he was moving? Oh fuck!
Okay, that ending is brutal. Don't go in the center. I'm gonna go to the side. More strategic. Let's go! Like I told you guys many times, if I if I was able to go back in time. To, to to myself to warn myself of the future I already know exactly what I would do I would find my younger self and tell myself not to get an N64 that would have completely changed my life like for the better for everything it would have put me on the right path Don't turn too tight. There we go. Yes. Good head starts. Looking good. Looking good, yes. Yeah, see? Just stay to the right. There we go. Yes. No, Joey, so you don't understand. By me, not getting the N64 would have helped everyone and stopped every bad thing from happening. It would have started a huge butterfly effect. I'll go up against you anytime you want. Wait, what? Do I get five of those for winning that race? Ah! Yo, Shin, thanks for using your prime on me, buddy. Appreciate it. I like your name, Shin Hibiki. When I think Shin Hibiki, like a Dan, I think Jamie in Street Fighter 6. Because Jamie's like the Dan of Street Fighter 6, you know? So Shin Hibiki is like Jamie with four drinks. We, uh, we got seven now. We need ten. He is the Dan. Prove me wrong. He's a drunken buffoon. You think I'm down playing Jamie? Are you kidding me? I think I'm up playing Jamie. I think I'm saying he's way better than he is. You guys want to hear down playing, dude? I was talking to Austin. The other night, and he was talking about. I was Look talking about. Got a new gadget. Check it out. Another new gadget? This What's is the super hoop. It protects you and makes you run faster. I'm sending oh, speed. the gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Okay. This is the best thing. Damn speed. Yeah, and Austin was like talking about. I was complaining about how Jerry's drive rush is completely broken, and how her medium punch is broken. It's like the, one of the only plus normals in the game, and when you combine her best like drive rush with that medium punch, it's crazy. And Austin said the reason they gave it to her was because she's bad, so they had to give her something really good. And I'm like. What the fuck did they give Jamie then? You know? If that's the case. Yes, I know, guys. So I'm like, you're basically telling me she's good because she's bad. <laughs> oh my god. Uh. I did swipe the Hibiki part from Dan. <laughs> Don't worry, like I said, when you play Street Fighter 6, it'll be, uh... You'll change your name to, uh, Jamie Hibiki. Trust me, he will. <laughs> Welcome to the world of balance. <laughs> I'm worried about Zengi's dry rush. Yeah, that's probably the fastest dry rush in the game. <laughs> okay, Twitch is uh, giving me the warning. I'm going to take a quick break and I'll be back in a minute. And then, yeah, remind me guys to do the, do the little room tour too, before I forget.
Turn the super hoop into a dash shield by rotating the right stick. While it's a dash shield, you'll run quickly and you can smack into the enemies. To create the dash shield, quickly rotate the right stick around and around. <gasps> wow! Whoa! Man. Super creative. Oh, I gotta dance. <laughs> the Naruto run. Yeah, you're right. Damn, this should have been the main mascot of Sony. If they could have got this game out for launch, but then again with the Dual Shock and all that, but this game would have been huge. Well, you guys said this game's a giant series, right? Mm -hmm. Anyone got uh, some streams from Vesper's archive channel to recommend for this? Um, well, don't forget, if you guys go to my retro channel, I think before episode 100, if you click on any of my stream, uh, any of those uh, videos, in the video description, I write down the games we played for that stream. So, like I said, pre-episode 100, we're playing like six, seven games a stream because the older games are short, uh, shorter. So, don't forget that. But I don't know. There, I I go back to the archives too and watch watch some of the old stuff I played. Step on the switch to open the gate. Once you're off the switch, the gate will shut. Get the super hoop going and run before the gate closes on you. I bet you already figured that out. Sick. Oh, we're gonna use this gadget a lot. Way to go, you can spin that hoop like a pro. You probably haven't forgotten, but set up your new gadget. Yeah. You? <laughs> In this next period, you'll find that most of the planet is covered with water. The water net will be very useful in catching the apes. There are lots of dangerous creatures below the surface. Be careful. Why did you bring yourself out on the beta? <laughs> I told you, man. I It's it's because Street Fighter 6 and no I'm not shilling, but it's a very demanding game. Like I haven't played a fighting game that's that that has that much mental stack in a long time. It's like playing non-stop Marvel 2. <laughs> Seriously. Yes, I know. I know the burnout jokes. <laughs> We were saying that shit all weekend. <laughs> really though, I'm serious. That game, it's like playing a, an RTS for a long time. You just need to take a break. Vesper isn't just an old guy. Street Fighter 6 is... No, I'm serious, dude. It's draining. It is, guys. That's right. We're going to take breaks and play World Tour and stuff. It won't just be ranked. Exactly. Try pressing left stick in while jumping. You'll land straight down with a hip drop attack. Oh, really? <gasps> Bonk. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see how young he looked in the Street Fighter 4? That was like seven years ago! Asshole. And that was before I started drinking Coke Zero. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys, why does this game run better than Breath of the Wild? Yeah. Look at that monkey. Yeah. Yeah. Passion? This game came out in 1999. I heard Nintendo fixed, uh, they patched, uh, the new Zelda for the duping. I heard people were justifying it. They're like, well, that's what you get when you add durability to items. 
<laughs> I'm duping the shit out of this game. People are angry, guys. We lost their minds. Everyone's cheating. Whenever I think uh, duping, I think uh, Diablo 1. That's like one of the most infamous games for duping. Wow, it's a beach party. Funk. That crowd turned into a cracker. Get over here. No, he's going for it. Little did he know. Come back here. Ah! Oh, you bastard. Got him. Oh, right. We got to equip our uh, our hoop. Uh, we can replace the, the radar. But do I lose my speed as soon as I switch items? You do. Okay. Oh, he jumped on the on the bench. What the fuck? Got him. No, I never played Spyro, but you know the thing is, guys, is like... I don't know if the, I'll like that game, to be honest with you guys. Every time I see Spyro being played, which is not that often, but I see it every now and then when they're like, you know... During like the speedrunning events and stuff, I look at the game and it looks really boring. It looks whack. But I could be wrong, like, I, I haven't played it or given it a chance. But I look at it and I'm like... I don't know... Like, I like Crash Bandicoot. I like this game, so maybe I'll like it. I don't know. It's a col uh, collect-a-thon game? Oh, so it's like... Uh, like uh, Banjo-Kazooie, like rare games? I've actually never even played ba uh, uh, Banjo-Kazooie before. Which is funny, since, you know, I had N64. Hey, he's making a sandcastle. If you catch the number of monkeys written on the lamp, the door will open. Oh wow, it's like DMC. PS1 era collection. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I, I am I am always down for playing a game I've never played before, guys. So, you know, if you guys want me to play Spyro someday, we, we definitely can. Like I said, I am, uh... I have, I have, I have an idea to go back when we go back to retro. We'll go back with a bang. World Tour speed run. That always when you guys ever mention like Street Fighter and speedrun, it always makes me think of the the trials, the Street Fighter Four trials. When I got invited to uh, speedrun the Street Fighter Four trials. If you like puzzles, you should play Uncharted. That game is I have played Uncharted, but I don't really remember too much. It's been so long ago, but I have played Uncharted. Oh, what's going on here? Oh. Visible wall here. Alright, let's continue going forward. Bomber man. No guys, I don't wanna play Bomber Man. The game's a whack.
It's dangerous to fall from high place. Land as gently as you can. Don't run around near the edge of a cliff. Oh wait, how do we do the stomp again? Hmm? Uh, there's a Crash and Spyro trilogy remake, and it's a one-one remake. Oh really? I want to play that. Uh, there's a fourth Crash game, isn't there? I want to play that too. I want to play the racing game too. So I've heard nothing but good things about it. Oh my god, sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. Achoo. Achoo. Oh, there's something down here, too. Let me get back up with the tree. Let's go down on purpose. Yeah, I, I want to play it someday. No! Stop pressing that. Yes! Woohoo! Sly Cooper? No. Never played it before. Never even seen what kind of game that is either. We did it! Oh no, water level? Uh-oh. Could be worse though, could have been an ice level. Who is that? Ooh. Oh no. Oh my god, this level. Looks like it's gonna be a handful. Final retro, I'm sad. Don't be sad, guys. Be happy. Think of all the good memories. Okay, maybe we can hit it with the net. Oh, we just... Okay. We can't hit the shark, but... Oh no, he sees me! Oh, there's another one up there. Oh no! Hurry! I'm trying to get the triangle. Hurry! Mm -hmm. You didn't finish all the RE games? <laughs> Ah, uh, we did a pretty good job, though. We only missed the Revelation series. I'm just happy we're able to play Resident Evil 6. That game touched my heart. And I'll never forget that game. Like that. What? How can I not hit him? Go. Yeah, we, we got guys. We'll never run out of games to play. <laughs> we'll never run out ever. We have, like I said, we haven't even started indie games, guys. Like, can you imagine? I 
Like, there are just unlimited amount of games to play. It's crazy. It's actually pretty nuts when you think about it. It'll just never end. What's that do? Is that for this? Yeah, it looks like it. Go, go, go. I think I gotta use the hula hoop thing. Uh, nope. We never played MKX Command Mission. Wow, there's two monkeys on there. Okay. Uh, we hit this again. On him. Now where did the other one go? Mm. Yeah, and when we have new people join the stream, maybe they'll have some cool suggestions too. On what games to play, you know? Did he jump in the water? Oh my god, he did. Get over here. No! No! The siren's going off. Oh my god, we're in, we're in here with sharks. Oh, nice. Headshot. Gotta get the hell out of here. Go up. Okay, so we open that one. What other else do we have to explore here? What if we go down this way, where this crazy shark is? Can we go this way? Nope. Oh. Ah! Ghost Runner? Is that the game where... There was somebody on a motorcycle and they were driving down a building. And we saw that during the PlayStation show. Yeah? I don't know, man. Okay, there's nothing over there. The streets are rage game, what are you talking about? Hey, there's one guy over there too. Can I hit this with my uh, slingshot too? Oh, that's cool. Takes a lot longer though. Wait, it's not doing shit. Oh no, I'm gonna hit the other way. Nothing up there. Look at this flower. Oh. Hmm. I see I see that monkey over there on the opposite side. But I don't see anywhere we can access to it. Maybe we can backtrack. Oh no, I took fall damage. Forgot to do the slam. Oh wait, we can't go back. Okay, we gotta observe the area. Can I hit the shark with a slingshot? I got explosives. Boom!
You can- Oh, you, I think you can. I don't know if you can kill him, though. No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Let's keep observing the water. We know there's a monkey up here. Nothing to climb. And this was an invisible wall, right? And there's the shark guy here. Wait! What? It's not an invisible wall! What? Didn't I... What? Guys? What? Oh no! What's that sound? Go up! Why aren't you going up? I what? What's going on, dude? I should have held R1 while I was like staring upwards. Oh, shit, now I'm getting my ass kicked. No, 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 no. There's like a current. That pushes you. I swear I tried going down this way. Let's go over here. Yeah, I should have just held R1. Okay. Get it. What's this? It's a cracker machine, cool. Damn, I mistimed it. Just so dropped a little some money. He's gonna see me. Turn it around. Here he comes. I can't get up there. Uh, can we climb up this? Oh, you can! Wow! Wow! Platforming. So cool. Wait, why didn't I double jump? Guys, you have to pay attention to your environment in this game. Let's get some more, uh, some more crackers. I guess when you're facing backwards, you can't do the double jump. Or maybe I'm taking too long to do the double jump. Because you can do it while facing backwards, right? You know another hype thing coming up, guys, next week? Besides Street Fighter 6 is, uh, is Summer Game Fest, right? That's where we're going to get our best, uh, our best announcements. The best of the best, guys. Cause that Sony show was, uh, I don't know, it was snooze for me. Summer snooze fest? How dare you? How dare you? Summer hype fest, you mean? Okay, I can't really tell. One more. You weren't hyped for the MGS remake? <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, but it wasn't a surprise, you know? Because of the leaks and shit. It wasn't like a genuine surprise. Like, don't get me wrong, yeah, Metal, Metal Gear, like, is awesome. Playing more Metal Gear. You guys remember when I first played Metal Gear and I thought it was an army man game <laughs> the entire time? Like, it was like some Call of Duty game? Holy shit. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, uh, Dragon's Dogma, maybe that'd be a cool game. Because I've heard nothing but good things about it. The Capcom Showcase, pretty much. Yeah, it was the Capcom Showcase. Funk. Guess what? I've discovered something. The color of the monkey's pants show their abilities. What? According to the results of my experiments, monkeys in yellow pants are your common, normal monkeys. Okay, their pants tell us information too. What? He's in a giant cannon on a sub! Damn it, I lost all my ammo. What? Oh, got him. We gotta get on the sub. Where is he? Oh, he's pooped out. I can't I can't use it. There we go. Yes. Yes. Holy cow, it's with those anchors. There's gotta be some heavy hitters you guys are still excited for, for summer. There just has to be. I'm too jaded in that. Come on, guys. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm too jaded. <laughs> what the? Who hurt you guys? Who hurt you? Like, come on. Triple A games suck. <laughs> My God, guys. <laughs> there are so many games to play. So many. Guys, games are free. There's free to play games. Triple A games are a whack. Guys, Street Fighter 6 is triple A. Or in my opinion, quadruple A. You only play Yu-Gi-Oh. Get a little of this guy. Whoa, what's this? Dexter's Island? Wow. Even the stages look cool. The diorama looks cool. Six monkeys? What? Six monkeys. Oh my god. <gasps> Pirate ship. Let's go! Let's go! Uh-oh. What a great discovery, Spike. We found a completely unknown creature. I named him Dexter. Do you like that name? I think it suits him well. You can't name him! Call him the V-Step. Hopefully he's friendly. Can we go inside his mouth? I knew it! Whoa, what the hell's going on? Where the hell are we? Holy shit, is that acid? Okay, good, we can go in the water. Whoa, he swallowed a whole ship.
Are those bones? What a cool looking area. Hey, there's coins here. Very sick. Yes. Can you hit these things? What are these things? Oh my god. Oh, they're homing. What is this? Donkey Kong. Oh! Okay, we're supposed to fall anyways. What a cool extra area, man. All these areas are really cool. Is there anything on the other side of the ship? You know what they need, guys? They need to make a new battle royale game. A pirate ship battle royale game. How cool would that be? That'd be so sick. Think about it, guys. Think about it. No, not Sea of Thieves. No. Talking about a battle royale. Microsoft did that? No, they didn't. No one's done it. The future of gaming is battle royale, Vesper. This scares me. It scares you? It excites me. After all, there can only be one. Wait, what? Oh, he attacked me. Oh, oh god, I'm, I'm low. This guy is armed to the teeth. He's got bombs and shit. Oh no, I'm one shot. Uh-oh. Be careful. Watch out, watch out. Careful. Careful, careful. Rockets, that's bullshit. Okay, I gotta sneak up on that guy. Best, you don't even play about her royale. You bet your ass, I do. Whoa, what's this? What? Oh, I can crawl maybe? Oh my... What? No, I can't. There's a monkey down here. Weird. There's definitely a secret here. Can't see shit. He's in there hiding. Cool. What's the real reason to reform my computer? What, what's with your guys' conspiracy this time? Ah! Bass was hard to catch. Okay, hold on. We gotta do this a different way. We have to go stealth. It's too too difficult. No! Oh my god, I'm one shot again. No, he sees me still.
Oh! Shit. Oh, this, oh those Thanks. missiles, man. He's so hard. Okay, I gotta try crawling from the beginning. This guy's tough. Or we can blast him. That's another idea too. We can use aim skill. Okay, he's not alerted yet. He's blue. Okay. We're like snake. Oh, as soon as I jump out of the water, he gets alerted. Come on, he's not yet, not yet. We're like snake. Okay, never mind. He doesn't matter what, we alert him. Okay. Oh no, he's not alerted. Aim skill. Not moving. Come on. Uh. Oh. Quiet. No. Yes. No. No. Fuck sakes. There we go. Oh my god, dude. I was about to lose it there. Misrated. Okay, there's another passage where they're going. Uh, yeah, this way. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You can move the net around after it hits the ground. Oh, what? <laughs> oh. Okay, that, uh, that's a lot better than what I've been doing. According to the scanner, there's a complicated maze in Dexter's body. Don't get lost. Maze? I never get lost. Uh-oh. Whoa. Wow, guys, look, I found a secret. Wait, what? Oh, the room tour, yeah. You guys want to do that right now? I guess we can do that right now. Like I said, it's nothing super special. I just might as well show you guys though. Because I've been like, like I said, hyping it up. Um, okay, how am I going to do this? Okay. What game is that on the left? What, this one I'm pointing at right now, which game is this? Do you need me to zoom it in? I can move in the camera. Ignore the nano leaves, that's a sad story. What game is this, guys? See if I can zoom in. Whoa. Uh, hold on. Whoa. Why you guys keep saying there's camera? There's no camera. Okay. We'll zoom in one picture at a time. Oh, it's really, it's still kind of hard to see it. This is as much as I can push the camera, by the way. So that's, uh, ass and cheeks. Uh, Famicom cover. Yeah. And then, uh, the next one is... Well, you guys can see it, it actually just says it. That's Prince of Persia. That is the Super Famicom cover for that game. It's actually a really sick cover, by the way. All, all the, all the posters I got are, like, Famicom or Super Famicom posters. I got the Wii versions. Just because I wanted to put some niche retro stuff in that some people might not, uh, recognize, right? And then this one, oh, the glare and the light, you guys might not see it that well. I don't know if I can... This one's kind of hard to see. You guys know what that one is? The third one on the right? That one is tough to see. Because my light's in the way. Vania? No, it's uh, Double Dragon. It's a, it's the, it's the Game Boy version of Double Dragon. Very rare picture. Very rare picture. It was a pain in the ass to get a, a nice size one. And then the last one, well, self-explanatory. That is, 
uh, Kickmaster. Awesome game. We played that on stream. Awesome, awesome game. I might play it again. Um, yeah. And then you guys notice the nano leaves on the top. <laughs> you notice there's no power cord connected to it because power outages, right? <laughs> so stupid. Uh, they're they're lights, and these lights, guys, these nano leaf lights are super bright. I had these in a box for three years, never opened them. Finally opened them after I moved out, and then realized uh, my power goes out because my room is so tiny and the breakers go off because they're super sensitive. But I, I still haven't uh, called the electrician to come down to check maybe I can use them. In the winter, when I take down the, the fan, then maybe I can light these guys up because they really light up the room. Yeah. Three years of blue balls? I know, it's terrible. But yeah, uh, putting these pictures up, guys, uh, symmetrically, <laughs> without tools, uh, no easy feat, by the way. Let me tell you, uh, me and Willie had to use guerrilla tactics to put that shit on the wall. I'm not even kidding. Okay, uh, I haven't- most of my plushies that I ordered haven't even came in yet, guys, so... Uh, at the top, that's Taco. Uh, if you guys don't know who Taco is, one day you guys will. But he's from a Konami game. That's Taco. Uh... I'm sure you guys recognize the middle there. In the middle! You guys can see uh, Tom Berry. He's still chilling there. I couldn't really fit all three of them on the shelf. I was moving those around. And then uh, there's Bob and Bub. Do you guys know which one is Bob and which one is Bub? Only true retro fans would know. You'll get plenty of XP if you kill that character. Yeah. Puzzle Bobble? Oh, bro. Dude. Don't even say that. It breaks my heart. That's like saying, that's like saying, hey, those are the guys from Bust the Move, Vesper. That's brutal. Hey, he's a legend. You can't say that. Or at least I can't say that. <laughs> and this blue bastard down here, you guys know who he is from. One of the most overrated JRPGs of all time. Don't even get me started. But yeah, I still have, um... Uh, a bunch of plushes I still have to open, and some are still on pre-order, so they're gonna take a while. I got some cool shit coming in. Uh, later, which I'll, I'll show you guys. Uh, this shelf here... This is spoilers. I can't go much into detail here. We're gonna do a bunch of unboxings here, but... I don't wanna show you guys all this stuff. I'll just give you guys a little glimpse of what's to come. But all of this is still, like, not unboxed yet. I just put some stuff in the shelf. A lot of it is actually, uh on there but I don't know what you guys are talking about I'm not spoiling anything I'm just giving you guys a, a glimpse <laughs> there's some cool stuff in there I'm gonna do unboxing with you guys I won't open any of this stuff uh, without you guys so you guys can check that out there, out there. but there's some cool stuff some uh, some weeb stuff some e -trot games you guys know how it is yeah. is that uh, yeah the stuff in the top on the left is uh, Seiken Densetsu 2 collectors there is figures in there, and on the right is Seiken, Seiken Death Setsu 3, and that comes with figures as well. And uh, they're unopened. And in the middle is a uh, Wonder Boy collection, really cool. I haven't really dabbled to show you guys too much of the Wonder Boy collection, but um, they... You guys remember... Um, uh, Wonder Boy, and then they they went off and wanted to make their own series, a bunch of JRPG games, and then Hudson Soft is like, no, we want you to still make games, and then they hired that other company to rip them off, and it's called Adventure Island, if you guys know, uh, from the Sega. So, yeah, it was pretty cool. I really like the artwork in that game. Okay, that's so that's the back shelf, and then um, here's my setup over here. Here is my setup. This is what it looks like when I stream, in case you guys are wondering. I just have my one monitor. This is my 2K monitor. And then here is my 240Hz monitor that I use for the chat. You guys can see. That's how I read the chat. It's on the- Remember, this is new, by the way. I, bef I always had the chat like this to the left. And uh, I always had on the right it shows, you know, who's subbed and whatever, but this is a little different because now... Uh, hold on, if we... Oh, I'm covering the ad part. 
but on the right side here, best for who reads chat. Hold on, I want to show you guys what this looks like so you see the ping. Um, you see on the right here? See, look. Ad starts in 11 minutes and 40 seconds. <laughs> see? There's the snooze bar in case you guys are wondering the snooze meter. So now you guys know what it looks like, okay? So that's why I'm always like, and then once uh, it's 10 minutes for the ad, it will say on the screen, warning, ad is coming. And that's when I know to, uh, to take a break. Yeah. In case you guys were wondering. Okay. Uh, and yeah, I mean, there's nothing special on my desk, guys. It's just an empty desk. Um, there's my controller, the mouse pad, it's my keyboard. And there's the tower and light. I mean, like I said, it's nothing special. It's just a clear desk. Um, but up here, though, we got more pictures. So we can start from the right again. What game is this, guys? You guys recognize this game? It's a game we still have to play. Yeah. It's another Kunio Kun game that uh, we still have to play. It's from, uh, it's like a, a guided version of um, River City Ransom. I think they made a remake of this game recently too, right? Cause I, uh, I think uh, Luke mentioned to me that he, he knew what this game was because there was like some remake of it or whatever, right? Okay, now we're gonna get super niche here. Which game is this? Does anyone recognize this game? Super niche. I don't know. I think a lot of you won't get this one. Yeah, you guys won't know this one. This was uh, super rare. Hey Zeus. Hey Zeus. It's a point and click Famicom adventure game. You guys can look it up. You'll find it. Yeah, we're getting like super niche. Super niche. This one should be easy. You guys should instantly recognize this one. Bare Knuckle 3. Fine, Jesus. Yes, yeah, fine, Jesus. Bare Knuckle 3. You guys recognize this one on the left here? This should be easy too for you guys. Especially the weebs. <clears throat> this is a uh, digital devil story. Uh, I wanted to put. I wanted to put a. What's it called? Um, Fantasy Star. But I don't know. A lot of the artwork I didn't like. I was trying to find some really good artwork, but I, I wanted to use the official game box, so yeah. yeah. Too many weeb hipster posters? Like I said, I got the Famicom versions of all these just to make it hard to recognize. Yeah. Are you a boomer or a hipster boomer? <laughs> uh, okay, I can't stretch my arm that far. What's the game on the far left? Do you guys recognize that one? Deep cut weeb shit. I actually played Digital Devil Story though. That's a grind fest. Yeah, it's Contra. It's hardcore. I actually like it better than Contra 3. That game is sick. And in the very end, the very last one. That show one should be easy to guess too. That's Vampire Killer. Yeah. That's Bloodlines for Genesis. Another sick game. Well, unless you play the Spear Dude. Then that shit's whack. And yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I, I was thinking of putting some more posters up in the future. I wanted to keep stuff like all Super Famicom, Famicom version. That's the... Here's my fan, by the way. My super fan. <laughs> like I said, it's literally right next to me. Giant ass fan. That's what's making my power get knocked out. And then that's the shelf of shame. There's some stuff in there I haven't opened yet. I gotta put into the shelf. And that's pretty much it. That's my super small room, guys. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, one second now. Whoop. Boom, and that's it. There you go. You guys finally got to see my room. And like I said, once we get back to the retro stuff, we'll do some unboxing on some of that cool shit I bought and. Check it out and add more stuff. Like I said, one of the cool things uh, when I was collecting a bunch of stuff is just 
finding out things, you know? Like, I was looking for... Because, like I said, I don't want to get, like, uh... Like, old, deteriorated, like, Famicom boxes, even though I do have some, actually. But... I wanted to find, like, a lot of niche stuff, or reprints of super niche stuff, and I learned about a lot of games that I added on the list and shit that I want to check out with you guys sometime. Remind of the ride you took us to that old basement? I know. I wanted to go through that with the phone, though. Just to show you guys how crazy huge that basement was. It was insane. Oh, what the hell is this? Oh, no! The basement was dusty. Oh, it was. No, come on. It's like further out than I think it is. Okay, further out, further out. Okay, I jumped too far now. Oh my god. Uh, Vesper, I heard Street Fighter 6 releases at noon on June 1st. Is that true? If it releases at Japan time, that can be true. I will obviously let you guys know... Uh, as soon as I know myself. But, I will be, like, if it comes out on noon, then, you know, I'll be streaming around the regular hours. Uh, to play with you guys. Do I have to hit this thing? Oh, maybe I get him to break it for me? No? Oh. Cool. Grab Street Fighter 6 for a week and play Diablo 4 Hardcore to level 100 to make your name immortal on the Lilith statue? Bro, are you serious? <laughs> ban that guy! <laughs> Bro. The normal bullets in your sling back shoot are pretty weak, but they're strong enough to scare the monkeys. Maybe to even knock them down if they are on the slippery uh, on slippery ground. Oh no, ice! D four no soul. Mm -hmm. But yeah, like I said, I wanted to put more lights up in this area, but, you know, with the power outage issues I have, it's okay. This is good enough. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got rid of the the lamp. It's like a shelf now. Okay, what does this do? It's another switch. What, there's two, there's two monkeys here. Hey, yeah. I was so excited for Diablo 4, guys. You have no idea, dude. But just like Project L, I don't know. Once enough time passes, you just learn to let go. It's strange. You learn to move on. What? It's not exciting? I don't know, I, I heard that Blizzard has all hands in deck and they're they're listening to the fans and changing the game like drastically on the on the beta. Best knows how to move on. I don't know, I think about the N64. That's different. That's different. The impact of N64 is huge. No! What's this? Oh. That's weird. Ooh. 
listening to the fans is a rookie mistake. <laughs> Nice, at least you can get a heal thing here. They're teaming up together. Nice. That 360 uh, pizza cutter spin. Oh, comes. No! Oh! He's right beside me. No! How am I not hit? How am I not hitting him? Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh shit! There's an ad gonna play in four seconds. Uh oh! I'll be right back, guys. No! I'm supposed to be on my break! Fuck! Can you get me from here, you little bastard? I'm supposed to be on my break! No start the pause? If I pause it, I think it stops the music. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> you guys laughing at my misfortune? Wait, what does this switch do? Oh, it lets me get out. There's one more... Where did he go? Is there any game you guys are, um... You guys are trying to finish last second before Street Fighter 6 comes out? What the hell? I broke the... <laughs> the boulder. Alright, yeah, Micro's doing KOF 13 trials. I deleted every other game? Like what? Tell me one game you deleted. And don't say Street Fighter 5. He's got iframes when he lands. Strive? Damn, you only play fighting games? Sleep by your five? <clears throat> one day, guys, one day. You guys will miss Street Fighter V. It'll be like the year 2027 or something. You're like, you know, Street Fighter V was alright. No? <laughs> you guys are heartless. You guys are ruthless. Did you guys watch any of the Topanga? I heard the Topanga matches were really good. But I kinda I don't know, I'm kinda done watching Street Fighter 5 matches. Like I'm at the I'm at the end now, you know? What the hell's going on here? What? Oh no. That's nice, an extra t shirt. Actually, what if I just, uh, like this? Don't you hit these things again?
Chris, we're playing KOF tonight, I see. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I like how everyone comes in the chat, they're always like, Oh man, KOF 15! You guys... I guess I've condi conditioned you guys to the meme. Yes! We did it. Oh, we definitely got to save. See. This game is really, really good. Return. The levels are starting to get bigger too, like really big. How many of those coins do I have now? We need two more. You have to include the KOF 15 joke in the archive for this game? Oh, yeah. Okay, I will. <laughs> no! Ice level! Freeze land, no! Ice age. You are heading towards the ice age. It will be extremely cold in this next area. The planet is covered with ice and in some areas with strong winds the temperatures will drop below freezing. The apes have adapted well to the new surroundings. Take full advantage of the gadgets so you can quickly move on. Have I been watching Combo Breaker? No, I haven't. I was asking you guys about it. I've just been really busy. Now, now that I'm finished my room and, and the house area, um, now I'm focusing on... Uh, Getting all my guides and stuff organized and uh, reformatting my computer. Basically, I'm trying to set it up so that when Street Fighter 6 comes out, I'm making my life as organized and as easy as possible. Like, even my food is organized, guys. Like, I will wake up and Street Fighter 6 will be my life, you know, for a while. So, I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. The scene in the Ice Age is severely cold. You will be hurt if you fall in. Be careful. And the apes, they have already adapted. And then we kind of have to just, like I said, the first week of Street Fighter 6 is going to be a little awkward to stream because I don't really know what we're going to do every day. I mean, I'll still be doing guides for sure, but like... I think I'm just gonna do what I feel like, you know? I'm gonna be like, hey, let's play some ranks, let's play some world tour, you know? We'll just kind of do a little bit of everything. Like, hey, let's play some lobby matches together for a bit. And it's just gonna be crazy. We are covered for the next eight years. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. We could be trapped for eight years, too. Some people are really excited for Street Fighter 6. Like, they can't even, like, contain it, dude. Which is awesome. I just hope the game is really successful because... I think Capcom really did listen this time on... On how to do a fighting game right in terms of making it an actual game, you know? And I think if it doesn't do as well as Capcom hopes, I think that's really fucking bad. Uh, for fighting games in general. Yeah. 
If Street Fighter 6 fails, Street Fighter 7 will be arena fighter. Yeah, exactly. Like, dynamic controls will be the standard. They will just not know what to do. Like, I'm like seriously, I would be scratching my head. I'm like, I, I don't know what the fuck to do. If this doesn't do it, like, what can, man? Like, <laughs> seriously, what can? Extraction fighter? Street Fighter MMO time? Yeah, like I said, I think Street Fighter 7 should be, uh... Online world tour is the next step. Next logical step. <laughs> Ouch! Hey, there's a guy in there. Oh, wow. I'm also interested in seeing MK1, because MK1 seems like it's going to be a huge hit. I just see so much casuals talk about MK. Casuals just love Mortal Kombat. Dude. Damn, that guy's got a gun too? Actually, I got a homing rocket for this. Let's not spend it, though. Damn, no, no, uh, bullet drop. Tell Killy couldn't do at least one commentary Street Fighter 6 video with me. <laughs> I can always ask him. Yeah, Kill uh, Killy will be like, I'm too old for this shit. One shot. I think I destroyed the thingy though. Mm. Vesper, do your killy impression. No one will notice. <laughs> but I don't want to. No! This thing can kill me! Hmm. Oh what? He's still alive? I just returned home. How's KOF? State of the art. Inspirational. Oh, no. oh, that! Oh, no, that was the... No, I didn't realize. Ice bad. I still I have the... Okay, good. We're just running out of t-shirts here. Expectations shattered. I still think they should have used the burn to fight. Slogan. That is just... The most badass fighting game slogan I've ever heard. Burn to fight. The only thing as badass is who's next. <laughs> That's the only one is badass. Best fighting game slogans of all time. What was the Street Fighter V slogan again? <laughs> I keep thinking it's burn to fight because I always said burn to fight. Rise up. Rise up's pretty good. That's pretty fucking good. Damn, that's a good one. <sighs> What's Street Fighter 6's slogan? It's like... Your... your fight or something? <laughs> Embrace them. Your story, your fight? It's something your fight. I don't know if it's your story. Fuck Street Fighter 5. If you're reading this letter, you are lost. Use the monkey radar to find monkeys. Switch to the monkey camera with the L2 button to see them up close. Uh-oh. They said I'm lost. 
Okay, we will listen to what the game says. Chili monkey, getting older and colder. Ate some yellow snow. Sunny D. Uh, I don't know if this is house me though. Ice bad. Street Fighter 6 slogan is be small baby. Did you guys uh, watch those uh, Daigo Momochi matches on his stream? They're like the most intense Street Fighter 6 matches I've ever seen. Did Daigo cook? They both got cooked. And they were both super serious. And everyone had to stay out of their way. Hey Vesper, it's the game you compare everything to. <laughs> I only compare one game to this. Okay, I can't run up here with this. That goes slow reaction speeds. <laughs> I mean, we're not getting any younger. The first thing that goes is your speed. Ice. Nothing but ice. Hmm. Is that close enough for me to jump to? Should I take the chance? Yes. Is this slippery? Okay, it's not. But I, I it takes time for me to get traction. Oh no! Oh shit! Wind. Wait, maybe we're not. Maybe this is not a good idea. They copy this from uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. What's this do? Uh, hold on. Is there anything else I need to collect here? Can't jump on it. Oh. It looks like this machine is moving the propeller. I think we should destroy this hazardous thing. Now what? Oh. Okay. Did you get into his goat? Dude, Ninja Gaiden 3 was so fucking hard. That game is busted too. There was that one level where the timer's bugged and you run out of time no matter what because it doesn't reset between the stages. Like even speedrunners die. You 
guys keep talking about uh, Ape Escape in MGS3? Is that some kind of Easter egg or something? I'm pretty sure Qua showed me, I just didn't understand at the time because I never played Ape Escape. Yes. What's going on, Mockery? Mockery, you missed you missed out on my room tour. Everyone called me a weeb. Yeah, I think Quas showed me that, but I didn't. Hmm. Hmm. This game used to be a demo for PlayStation at every game store. I would imagine this game's like a giant tech demo. It's crazy. I've actually never uh, seen like gameplay of this game before; just pictures. Frosty retreat. Look what I've got a new gadget. Check it out. Here's the Skyflyer. It'll take you to high places. I'm sending the new gadget over to you right now. Try it out in the training room. Without training, it will be too dangerous for you to continue on to the next area. Well, good luck and be careful. Okay. Let's go! Let's go! Use the Skyfire to get higher than, uh, than a jump will get you. It's a great invention. You'll fly high in the sky by rotating the right stick. Rotate while flying to jump a longer distance. Oh, whoa! This game is so cool. Physics. Oh, that was about using the Skyfire to jump long distances? Well, you can fly uh, far away by rotating continuously in the air. While flying, guide yourself with the left stick. Practice using both sticks. Also, Skyfire can be used while jumping. Jump with the R1 button and rotate the right stick. Okay, nice. Finally, we have something to make us jump further. Let me tell you a trick. When the Skyflyer is turning, you can fly longer by rotating the right stick. That'll keep you going longer. Exactly. Guys, it's like having my own personal Twitch chat in the game. That's how you guys talk when you backseat me. Whoa, there's two in one room. Wow! Look guys, look at the view. Look at the vistas. Yeah. Oh, they actually move. move. Yeah. Oh, the tempo's changing. <gasps> Guys, the music's experimental. Yeah, yeah. Hi -ya. 
Okay, how do I get to these guys? You know, by pressing the select button, you can go direct to the gadget screen. I didn't know that. Wait a minute. Did you program that without my permission? Uh-oh. She's gonna get in shit. How dare you. New Ralph buff? Yeah, yeah. Ouch. Ah! Damn, these guys... Oh, shit. No! No! Sleepy time. I need aim skill now. Nice, he dropped some ammo. What kind of ammo? Have I spun the stick with the stun rod? Uh, not with the stun rod. With the net, though. Whoa! But I've done it with the net, like this. I've done that. Okay, aim's gone out. <gasps> they know. <laughs> Link spin? No, Link copy that from this game. I know, I know, I know! That's strange, there's nothing else in this area? Did I go this way? Let's see. Is this where I came from? I think it is. Maybe it's just one one uh Oh no, there's this area right here. Oh, uh oh. oh. Oh no. Show yourself. Oh man. Okay. Oh boy. Go, go, go. Ah! Please don't slip. Ok, 
Okay, there's another guy up there. Nice. No! Bonk. Okay, what's going on over there? How far does this thing shoot? Is it like just completely full screen? Yeah, it looks like it. <gasps> T-shirt! Yes! Level up the... I think we gotta fly on this one. Oh! I should've done the 360! No! Ah. Got him! Damn, there's a lot of a lot of monkeys in this cave. Where are we now? No, not the boat. Oh, that doesn't hurt me. No, he jumped in the spaceship. Oh, I want me to go towards him. It's too fast. What? You can shoot me too? I got the homing missiles, maybe I should use those? Oh. I think he's getting damaged. Can lock on? Don't let me lock on. Only oh, because I have a certain amount of targets at once. There we go. Perfect. Damn, those UFO guys are tough. Let's get the coin thing here too. No! They don't give you very much oxygen in this game. You gotta be kidding me. Turn camera. Oh shit. I- Okay, I don't know why getting that coin was so insanely difficult. You miss MVC2? Farming the, uh, training mode? <laughs> Dude, MVC2, man. My god, I'm so old. I remember, uh, walking in the arcade and not knowing which characters were in MVC2. Like, 
a character would unlock every single Friday. And every time I, I would go to the arcade after school, and on Friday we'd see which character was unlocked for NBC 2. So fucking long ago. Sounds hype. It was hype. <laughs> yeah, that guy, there's actually a, 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 a bug with Dr. Doom when you dash sweep to make it unblockable. And that guy in the arcade, Zach, he was doing it by accident without realizing it, and I didn't know it either. I remember it was so annoying because I used to, I I got so pissed off at that guy because he kept on doing dash sweep. And you know what, I, as a kid, I was like, I said, learn how to play. That's what I said to him. Learn how to play. This guy was like 10 years older than me. And you know what he, you know what he said to me when I said that? He's like, he's like, you see this? And he pointed down, he pointed and went down back in the joystick. He's like, that's block, that's how you block down. That's what he said to me. And I was fucking pissed. I'll never forget that. I was pissed, dude. Cause I when I when I was a kid, I used to just play uh uh you know like super fast characters. Pixie characters, you know, like Strider, Spider-Man, uh Who was the third character I played as? Wolverine, you know, like just fast characters. But then that's when we started learning about, like, trap teams, you know? Like, even when, when Sentinel first came out, we thought the character was trash. I remember doing Sentinel's uh, kick super when he sends out the drones, and I'm like, what is this trash super? It does no damage. This character sucks, you know? Little did we know, he's like one of the fastest characters in the game. His normals do chip damage, and... I only knew beam meta back then. Yeah, dude, I remember. I remember my uh, my friend used to read the shuriken.com forums, and he learned about air hyper viper beam, and he taught me. Once I learned that shit, man, whew. that's when they changed the game. That's when uh, casuals just stopped playing NBC two because it was just like, once someone knew cable, it was like over, you know. You don't want to lose your quarters. Okay, we got the 10 coins now. Let's try that bonus game thing. Everyone played cable? Yeah, there was tons of cable players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was kind of cool because once you played so much NBC2, eventually every you knew everyone's team. You know, you, you match the team to the face, right? So like Oh, this guy plays Team Scrub, or this guy plays, you know, this team. And then, and then after the beam meta was the rushdown meta, you know? Me, I use some really cheap-ass teams, thinking back on it. Like, really cheap-ass teams. One of my first, like, big tournament teams was... I used, um... What did I use? I used Blackheart, Cable, Doctor Doom. Like, some real cheap shit. And I knew how to do the black card infinite. <laughs> dude, I was like, ruthless, dude. What was the rushdown meta? You know, like MSP, Magneto, Storm, Psylocke. Uh, Storm-based teams, you know, like pure rushdown. Ski kids racing. What's this? I had a guy who was picked Hayate on point. Strider and Jin. Damn. What is going on, guys? Holy shit! Wow. 
The graphics are so realistic. That's another game we need to go back to, guys, is that Snowboard Kids. That game was really cool. And there was a sequel to it, too, right? Delete record. So if you collect coins, you get to play a separate entire game. Choose character. Spike. Type short tempered. He's only 10 years old. He's indecisive. Monkey. <laughs> Hospital. Oh, this is roll. Professor is forgettable. Oh no, that's gonna be me, guys. This is me when Street Fighter 7 comes out. Holy shit. Too much Coke Zero. Let's play Spike. Which course? Easy. Snowball. Snake River. Let's go easy. I don't even know what this is. Each racer can repeat this course to improve their starting position. How to play. Right stick controls right ski, left stick controls left ski. Oh no! Press up to use the jet to ski parallel, press sticks towards middle. It's like real life skiing. Oh shit. This is so bad. Maintain a good posture for more speed. Oh shit. Apply inner brake and use outer jet to turn sharply. I'm so screwed. This is not good. This is not good, guys. <laughs> oh shit, dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Where's my jet? Why am I not going faster? Rank up. French fries? What? What are you guys talking about? What do you mean French fries? Holy shit, the professor sucks. Wait, why am I going so much faster now? I thought it said to do the X if you want to go faster. start to quit okay final all right I think I know what to do now get out of my way guys why is this mini game better than some games <laughs> what's going on here too much passion oh my god We don't know <laughs> what the hell happened, guys.
Oh, I was doing pretty good there. There's the poor professor. Out of my way, old man. Damn it. If you get careful, sometimes you turn a little too sharp. Ah! Damn, they're waiting for me. The monkey destroyed us? So there's no difference in the actual characters? <laughs> I got a bronze here. Try the other course. Oh no, there's trees! Oh! You guys see that turn? Man, I can't imagine like how good you can actually get at this. We're collision hail <laughs> infinite. Oh. I lapped the professor. No! Did you see that? I got the super, the super jet. How did I do that? Because I was perfectly parallel for so long. Hey, we got second. Not bad. <laughs> Super cool. Damn, they got replays too? <laughs> this is actually so sick. Dude, if they had an online game that was just this, man, I would play it. Have all chats so people can talk shit. Yo, Ross, thanks for using your Prime on me, guys. Thanks for all the subs today. Appreciate it, guys. Play roll. That's a 2D model? What are you talking about? It's 3D. Dude, Mario Kart 64 use uh, sprites. And no one complained. They got away with it. There was no excuses. They can't keep getting away with this. Wait, what happened? Oh no! Wait, what? Gonna retire. I missed the jump. Look at the boost! The speed! The octane!
Oh no! Yes! Just made it. Come on! Oh. Ooh. Turn sharper, yes. Ooh. Damn, too sharp. Ooh. I'm starting to get used to the controls a little bit more. The controls for this are actually like really intuitive and good. I didn't really- I don't really see too many DualShock games that are like this. This is actually kind of crazy. Why did anyone copy this shit? They should have made a racing game that's like this. <laughs> Come on, guys. No. Oh my god, my thumbs. No, I failed. This course is way harder. <laughs> Ski kids. No analog. Oh, you can you can play your friend in this. That's insane. Guys, this game's multiplayer. And if you do get all the collectibles, you get all the mini games. Could have been super rewarding. Why didn't I get mini games, guys, in RE4 Remake when I collected everything? Why is that? I <laughs> lost the patch. Oh, let me one second. I want to go to the very first level and grab that one monkey because now we have that flying thing. It's been eating me alive. And there's a coin missing here, too. The old Tomb Raider games controllers were a cancer. Dude, you know what? I actually like the Tomb Raider controls. We played Tomb Raider 1. And the controls for what they were trying to do made a lot of Once you understand them, it's like Prince of Persia. Once you understand the controls, it's actually really good. <laughs> I don't know. I'm serious, dude. I'm serious. The reason they did it that way is so that the platforming is... 100% insured. Like, the game is very technical in its platforming. So... I mean, don't get me wrong, I can understand it being annoying, like, turning on a dime. Because you're, like, always kind of running forward, like, you're- you're steering like a car when you're moving Lara Croft. But, like I said, it made their level design really good because of the controls, and the same thing is with, uh, Prince of Persia. There he is. Get him! Got him. Remember me? Yes. Yes. 
payback. Like they didn't they didn't make the controls for Tomb Raider like bad because they wanted you to suffer, you know? Like They did it because they that was like the best way for them to to do a game like that where they wanted platforms to be the jump to be just low enough where you can grab the lead, you know? Like it was just far enough and stuff like that. They made it so she can walk right up to the tip of the ledge, you know? Like it's all done intentionally. And like I, once again, like Prince of Persia was exactly like that. Okay, where are we now? Hot springs. Yay, it's starting to warm up. Apologies, arcade. Guys, <laughs> you just need to understand, okay? It's like Drive Impact, guys. You guys are too quick to judge. You just need to understand. Oh god, look at this stage. Oh no. I'm going for it. Oh, this stage is huge. Snipe this guy. Bonk. Take that. Where do you even go? He like disappeared. Ooh, this theme sounds good. Mm. Oh, Twitch is warning me. Break time, guys. And hopefully nothing attacks me this time. Hold on. Let me snipe this guy. Actually, hopefully he won't hurt me. Break time. I'll be back in a minute. Nice try, sword! I've gotten practice now, I remembered the check. Nice try. You guys have to do a coordinated strike. You have to distract me. That's the only way you'll get away with it now. You guys gotta be like, so Vesper... How's that Street Fighter 3 or something, you know? <laughs> anyway, sorry, thanks so much for the gift subs, man. Appreciate the 5 ohm. Oh, look, there's the stereo one I was talking about. Look! Wow. So cool. Damn. Yeah, too experienced now, sword. Imagine losing to a modern control player at GameStop Street Fighter 6 Midnight release. <laughs> yeah, someone using Zangi. That's another thing we need to test out on day one. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> uh, should we hop down? Oh, it hits the enemy too? Cool. <coughs> oh, it's not high enough. I mean, it looks like I'm going high enough, but... There we go. There's a bridge made of ice ahead. Get over as quickly as you can before the ice breaks under your feet. Leads to a cave. Well, let's go deal with this bottom area first. Let's get this guy. Oh, it won't let me aim any further down. What? Oh no. What? What? I'm <laughs> I remember destroying a cop at GameStop in the mall. 
dude got in trouble for uh, spending so much time trying to beat you. <laughs> yeah, I've only entered one GameStop tournament. And like I said, that was for Cross Tekken. And I ran into Claw in the Grand Finals and he beat my ass with Kazuya. Beat me silly. <clears throat> what was the prize? I don't remember. Claw might remember. I don't- I don't- I don't remember. The bright oh for Tekken? That character looks pretty cool. I think I wanna learn that character someday. I think he's pretty is is Brian a good character, guys? I the only thing I know about Brian is like every time I see that character, he always has this move where he goes like this. He goes, mm. It's like a little mini uppercut move, and he moves forward. What is that move? I see everyone use that move. It's like his go-to move. Jet upper? If it's called jet upper, that's awesome. The passageway is blocked by an ice column. It seems like it'll break if you launch something heavy and smash it. Polar bear. I'm gonna hit him in the butt. Holy shit! Ah! It's Kuma from Tekken. Oh my god, this game has physics. Damn, more bears in here? Thank you. I remember this casual player told me that Antarin is cheap in the Street Fighter 4 games all turning. Antarin is pretty cheap. I mean, he can't block in the air, right? So, how's it fair you get to hit him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nice, more t shirts. Area over here. Yeah, Scorn's infamous match on Mortal Kombat. When the guy was complaining he was blocking too much, I'll never forget that shit. more health. Oh, that guy's on the machine. Yeah. 
Nice. More mini game coins. Are we back to the entrance now? Like I said, the, the whole scrub mentality, even good players can fall into that trap. You can fall into that trap without even realizing it. Like I said, it's anytime you expect your anyone to play the game the way you want to play it, is scrub mentality. At the end of the day, you play to win, right? So if your opponent, if you complain, all he does is jump. And you lose, you're the scrub. Well, unless it's a scrubby ass game, <laughs> then that's another problem. Which character is getting nerfed on day one, guys? Who's guaranteed to get nerfs? You'll be in shock if they're not nerfed. Who's the day one nurse? Guile for sure, right? There is no question Guile's getting nerfed, right? Kimberly? That's tough to guess. Not Jamie, come on, sorry, don't say that shit. What would they nerf with Kimberly, though? What would you, what would you guys nerf? Come on, guys, don't be mean. <laughs> I know you guys hate the character, you don't want to get personal now. I saw some clip where Cammy was doing her spin knuckle through uh, Guile's sonic boom, and it looked really fast. But then I was thinking, like, is it because her spin knuckle is fast, or is it because they slowed down Guile's sonic boom? You know, curious. Have to find out, man. Day one. Yeah. Uh, I can't release gimmicky. You have to wait until people learn the matchup. Yeah, I mean, no one's gonna study the matchup during the beta, right? A lot of her stuff you can just jab her out of too. Ironically, because that's all Kimberly players do is jab as well. Overwatch 2 players can. Yeah, don't forget. Remember like that one dude. Remember that guy who he was rank 47 in the world, and he was using random select. 20,000 LP God. He's like, you guys just playing Overwatch 2. I'm playing Overwatch 3. That guy was a true legend. He didn't give a shit. He was just naturally gifted. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he was like playing Chun Li for like five minutes. He's like, okay, let's move on to the next character. And then all of a sudden, he's like, man, I don't know which character to play. Maybe I should play them all. <laughs> Just doesn't goes on crazy win streaks. <laughs> Just cracked out of his mind. What? You don't even? Oh, I think I gotta use the hula hoop. 
Just the true legend. In before that guy wins evil. That's so funny. That's why uh, Momochi talked about the uh, crack version users. He's just trying to slow everyone down so he can play it for himself. He's like, that'll give me the edge. <laughs> Him and Daigo are just probably laughing their asses off right now. Doing JP cami matches and shit. Like, bunch of suckers. How fast did they expect me to go? Some people are playing the full game right now. Yeah, but like, like I said, it's like that's like any game, right? It's no surprise. I'm, I'm actually surprised it wasn't sooner, to be honest. People only started gaining it, uh, like just a couple of days ago. Most games you can get like you can break the release date by like two weeks. You'll get a lot more hype with no jump, but the tutorial told me to jump with it. You telling me the game lied to me? <clears throat> I'm gonna stand here right at the edge. No! Well, first they send out the review copies, right? So there's the review copies. So there's a journalist, and the journalist might be like, Hey man, guess what game I got? You want to come over and play? <laughs> you got the review copies. Then you have the extra slippery people that, you know, they're in the warehouse and they can get the game just sticky fingers off the belt, you know? And then once it hits the stores, then it's usually just either incompetence where they sell it to somebody or yeah, they break the street date. If your friend is a journalist, you already lost what? <laughs> what is this shit? You guys are so mean. Yeah, they playing early against a journalist makes you worse. <laughs> Day one you're a worse player. <laughs> What the? I just can't wait for the game to come out so we can stop hearing about this fucking Overwatch 2, you know? Like, I just want to move on from this shit and then finally, like, the game is out, no more complaining, right? I'm just so sick of it. Yes! Yes! If you stuck with Street Fighter V, what if you're a Nash main? It's not gonna stop for a while, you think so? Okay. I'm not gonna name any names, but... If certain names win certain tournaments within the first month, yes, we'll hear complaining, alright? But if, like, Townsperson B wins, we should be fine. Unless there's accusations. I've been waiting for this for a long time. 
This is just between you and me. They're like, wow, that guy's oh, so me. good, man. It's like he's... <laughs> it looks like he's already had the game for months. <laughs> I just don't see it happening, guys. There's just too many characters. Oh, yeah, I got the, the flying gadget. There's just too many characters missing from the roster, and with the changes and shit, I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. <laughs> that guy's hella crack. What? Why didn't I jump? Uh oh. Oh no! Why does he get to win? He's got to finish the race, too. Did I lose a life for that? Evo is gonna be a gong show though, guys. It's gonna be insane. Do they do they have a cap limit on how many people can enter? Otherwise, there's gonna be like three thousand players. Let's go. Let's go. 3,000 nobodies? I don't know, Elsie. That's what you're gonna say. And all of a sudden, you're gonna run into an Overwatch 2 player, and he, you're gonna be like, NANI! And he's gonna double P on you. Some guy who has a journalist for a friend. Damn, why is he going on this side? Don't push me, asshole. <gasps> no, I couldn't see the thingy! Uh-oh. Now what? I can still do this. I can still make it. I can- I lost. Shit! Oh, it's hot! What? <laughs> Another funny two guys would be if like pro players start like snitching on each other. <laughs> they just get bought in a tournament, and, like call the toll the toll free cap cops number. <laughs> they have like photo evidence and shit. I think I got it this time. No! Yes. Too slow. Yeah. 
chill. Take your time. Take your time. Be slow. Yes. No. No. How's he? How did you catch up? No. Come on. No. Fuck. Cheeks, man. That was rubber banding. You're right, uh, stick control needs some work. I need to put on the, the gamer gloves. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm going for it. How's work been? I'm doing good, man. I'm super busy. But everything seems to be going according to schedule. Thanks for asking. Didn't even stop. Look at that godlike pace. Yeah. It's over. Yeah, the Mario Party games. <laughs> yeah, I was tearing my palms open too. Got heated. Level up. Free. Okay, what do we got now? 18. Two more for our next mini game. Sushi Temple. Medieval Mayhem. We're on the weeb stages now? Spike, we finally located Spectre. We don't know his exact whereabouts, but he's hiding somewhere within the period of the dawn of civilization. His army is growing stronger and larger, and he's finalizing his plans for taking over the new uh -oh. world. Transport there now and find him. Time is running out. Hurry. Doom. Mm -hmm. Uh, just get any sports gloves, man. It could be literally any kind of gloves for sports. You can be like Tokido. Tokido's gone full, full Olympic, Olympian. What the hell? Replacement technique? Uh oh. <laughs> Lock on. What? No. What the hell? Can I not hit him? Oh, he got iframes. Damn, takes two hits.
Damn, he's got moves. How is he not dead? Gotta get those Ritz crackers. Cool, go down the well. You might get hurt if you try too hard to get uh, one monkey. Take a rest and relax before you lose your cool. Hmm. Oh yeah, this guy's gonna jump around like crazy. Damn, this well's got lava at the bottom of it. Bonk. I'm in the scramble. Watch out for these stupid bananas. Go. Yeah, the piano inputs are gone, guys. Nothing about this statue? Oh. Yeah, slinking. Slinking and using the back button, blinking. Blinking and blinking. Close. Piano inputs need to be gone though, it was too hard for people to understand. Yeah. The only downside, I think, to losing the piano input for someone like Honda is you you lose your charge right if you go core circle compared to doing piano because i'm playing honda i can buffer piano while maintaining charge you know but i mean that's the only thing i can think of if anything be more more complicated inputs <laughs> They need their games to sell. What's the point of making complicated inputs if no one plays your game? And besides, I mean, if you're if you really feel yourself on execution and stuff, there are some characters you can play, like Minot, for example. Playing Chun Li would be pretty cool. Her, st her stance switching combos are pretty sick. You know, if you want to feel yourself. Yeah, I mean not. He uses negative ed negative edge and shit. I think negative negative edge is like the hardest execution type. I hate that shit. There's a bunch of stuff up here, but I don't know how to get up here. Can you get up here? Oh. 
feel like I need another gadget. There's even like vines to climb up here. I think maybe you you, you actually get here from a different There you go, maybe hold on. Check over here one more time. Maybe I'm missing something. Oh, I am missing something right here. Okay, can I jump on these? I have to be able to, right? <gasps> what? Also, kids nowadays use claw grip while playing Fortnite. It's not like nobody enjoys complex controls. It's just rare to see them and it makes me very sad. Yeah, but... Like, don't get me wrong, Fortnite's a very uh, skilled game. For sure. <clears throat> but fighting games are still harder. It's still... It's still faster. Like, fighting game stuff is like... The, ex the execution part of it is to do, like, simple stuff, you know? Like, don't get me wrong, like I said, Fortnite's a very hard game. It's just that fighting games is kind of on another level. Because you're doing hard execution stuff to do simple things. Why can't I grab this? If I can't grab this, more, maybe once we go this way? Another thing too is that we're talking about the highest level of- Oh, hey, there's a switch here. The highest level of Fortnite. Whereas like just the entry level uh, fighting games can be really annoying too. Wow, there's a hidden guy there. It's actually really cool. Oh, where you go? Like I said, there's the, most new people find games that can't even do a fireball, right? So if they're like, they look at Jerry and like, oh, this character looks really cool. I want to learn Jerry. And it's like, you got to hold down this button and then let it go. And this is like, they're remember, a lot of people like to do like the hard stuff first, you know? Okay, I got to go up on this button here. Well, I, I don't know, like, the, the thing is, is that every other genre of game is more popular than fighting games, right? So if you say they need, like, you know, they could use more complex controls, like, if anything, it's the other way around. Fighting games need to learn from, from casual games. But there's more to it than just the execution, though. There's the... The value, too. And that's why World Tour is really exciting. Because not, not everyone wants to just sit in training mode and do combos and shit, you know?
That was an interesting secret. And okay, now we can backtrack now. <laughs> That's really cool. I think modern controls being turned in viable would be would be good. Well, I think the problem with modern controls is that if it if it is turn viable and pros start switching to it, I think the community is just gonna complain and they're gonna nerf it. I think seeing someone use modern controls and like that we've never heard of before and win a turn would be awesome, but I don't think the community will welcome it. Unless it's just straight up weaker than classic controls, right? People just don't want... It's it's really hard to... Get people to change and allow that. It's like... It's like the FPS community getting used to people winning with controller. It's like really hard to like let go of legacy, you know? Legacy is a big deal. I was trying to teach my friend to play Street Fighter 6, and even though he had a hell of a time doing basic fire motions, he absolutely refused to use modern controls. Yeah, I talked about that too. That... You know, I think there's a large percent of people that ref that they look down on modern controls. Like... A brand new player... Who... Plays Street Fighter 6, once they realize modern controls is made for easier controls, they're gonna be like, Well... I wanna use the pro controls, you know? I want to learn the proper way, right? Like, that's one issue. That's why Catcom has strategically called it modern controls and not easy controls, you know? They're saying it's turn viable, you know, like... There are, there are people that, that... It's the same thing, like I said, when they, when, when people... I see a lot of people, when they learn a fighting game, they're like... When they learn a character, like, what is his best combo? I'm like, well, don't you want to start with, like, a three-hit something you can, you know, do easily? And like, no, no, I want the best combo. And then they'll like try to do it, you know, for like 20 minutes and then they'll give up and flush the game. So there's this weird like psychology thing at the same time. If it was like, it's strange too, because if it was against the CPU, let's say that Street Fighter 6 was not PvP at all. Let's say it's the whole game was PvE. No one would have problem with modern controls at all. Everyone would like use it. For some reason, when it comes down to like playing against other players, that's when it's weird. So. John Tagiuchi has been taking sets at Daigo's house to modern controls. I've been watching him. Mean, I haven't w seen John beat Daigo once. Like every time I watch him, he always gets destroyed. But but I think the the strengths of modern controls are really obvious. We we actually were watching during the beta that Ryu using modern controls was really entertaining to watch. There's some obvious strengths, but we'll see. Especially with the other characters. Well, what you came on the other day and watched that? Yeah, I watched that. I was talking to the stream about that. It was hilarious, dude. They were playing so serious. That was a cool level. I don't think it's a PvP thing. You know how many people get shit for summoning people for bosses in Souls games? Yeah, but they get in shit, but they still use it, right? That's my point.
Mm. Oh, the mini game is a boxing game? Uh, that's so cool. Oh my god. Spectre boxing. <laughs> what is going on? Guys, it's like four games in one. Speaking of fighting games, Street Fighter 7. I got a feeling I'm using both joysticks for this game. Championship BS mode training. Advice. Press up to punch. Hold down first and up to punch harder. Damn, the swing. Hold down to guard. Move left or right to sway. Okay. That's so cool. The right timing is important. All right, here we go. Let's try training mode first. Rocks. Damn, slick. <laughs> what is going on? Why is- why am I- there we go. <laughs> okay, this is cool. Mm. Uh, Vesper, what percentage of MK players do you think are casual, non-competitive? Oh, 99%. Definitely 99%, dude. Ninety nine percent. Dude, look at the MK11 numbers right now. There's like almost 3,000 players playing. You think they're playing that shit for, for evil? I need the rhythm. No, I'm losing my rhythm. Look, my health is coming back. Oh my god, I knocked him out. He's dead. Mm. That's why I'm saying control type doesn't really matter for the vast majority. What do you mean? MK's got super easy inputs. They don't have motion inputs. It's back, back, forward, forward, back, forward. Anyone can do that. Those are baby inputs. And then Mortal Kombat doesn't have like... <laughs> they don't do links and shit. Their combos are dial combos. You literally press buttons in a sequence without timing. Just doing crouching media... Dude, do I have to remind you about that guy that was streaming that the cab cops shot? He couldn't do a two hit combo. On, on the fucking trials. He was trying to do trials for Street Fighter 6. He couldn't do a two-hit combo. I'm talking crouching forward fireball. And everyone was making fun of him. And he's like, sorry, I'm a Mortal Kombat player. That's what he fucking said. Word for word. You can't make this shit up. 
You can. It's totally different, dude. Don't get me wrong, like, there's some Mortal Kombat pros that do some crazy shit. But... The... The, the baseline for Mortal Kombat to do calls and shit is like a million times easier. A million times easier. Oh man, he's kicked my ass! It wasn't a smash player. We're just lucky Capcom hasn't decided to make a platform fighter, because once they do and they see that money roll in, that'll be the end of Street Fighter. Rotate stick! Uh oh. I'm rotating! I'm rotating! You need better defense? Offense is the best defense. Never mind. No, it's not. No! Oh, I, I got saved by the bell. Oh, you hit me good. No! Defending. Ah, oh, how did he hit me there? This would be more realistic if it let me do the clinch. Once my health is low, I clinch and then I'm out for free. It's boxing. You just fucking clinch your way to victory. Wait, isn't this a TKO? Oh no, judgment! Oh no! No! They didn't vote for me! I like the ski game better. This one is hurts my thumbs. It was a good run though. Uh, best we were saying new players care that modern is like easy mode, but MK is easy as hell, like you said. Therefore, why would they be worried about playing an easier mode? My point is, Capcom designs modern for those players. I'm saying that when there's when they know that they're they're playing an easier controls in the game, like they know there's there's classic and they know there's dynamic, so they're purposely going to use classic because they believe that is the right way you're supposed to play the game. Because they have a choice. In Mortal Kombat, everyone plays on the same controls. I'm just saying there's some weird psychology where like people want to do the crazy shit first. Because like, they want to do the fun stuff, right? They want to do the cool, fun combos and they want to, you know, play on the controls the pros play. And then they obviously can't do it. It's too hard. And then they give up. Hmm. Wabi Sabi Wall. Only newcomers who play other fighting games say that. Completely new players never say that. Well, both you and me don't know that for sure. We don't have a, a sheet of statistics now, do we? I'm all for it. 
I'm just saying from my experience, seeing people learn the game. Like, I, I'm speaking of experience of going to events. Like, when I go to E3 or some shit, or any kind of event or tournament, and I see people get into fighting games, I see that, like, recurring pattern. Also, you know, just reading my YouTube comments and seeing the shit people get stuck on, or why they quit. Could just be an NA thing, man. Maybe EU's just cracked. Or maybe it could be the opposite, right? Maybe it's an EU thing, you know? I'm not going door to door knocking asking people. Don't hurt me. Some cool stages in this game. But it's not like I'm saying Modern Controls is bad. I think the way they did Modern Controls is awesome. The Dynamic Modern Controls Classic, like I said, it's everything... I feel like Capcom did everything they possibly could. But I just feel like... I don't know. I feel like there's too many games out there that are... Especially drummers out there that are just too, too easy to play, too easy to get instant satisfaction, and they're way pop, way more popular and way more intuitive than fighting games. Just straight up. Okay, where am I going? Go over there. Like I don't think, I don't think fighting games are that intuitive. I think there's a lot of weird legacy skill in fighting games. That if you if you had if you never played a fighting game before and there was actually no one there to help you, you would be screwed. Like <laughs> there's just not enough information that would, that you'd figure out. Like, for example, easy inputs, buffering, negative edge. There's just like, there's just so much shit. Like, even Dalsum, like, instant air teleport and just weird things, you know, like. Or you just, you don't need to, like. Other games just don't have that weird hidden shit like that, you know? It's all legacy skill shit. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, YouTube tutorials for sure. But, like, that's what I'm saying, right? Not everyone wants to... ...to, uh, study the game like a fucking school test, you know, and watch YouTube videos all day just to learn how to fucking play, right? You know what I'm saying? When they can just hop into League and press Q-W-E-R, you know, straight up. Yeah, that's- that's what I mean, it's not intuitive, right? Yeah, there's like, and, you know, then there's other things too besides even that, guys. There's like, the whole 1v1 aspect is really stressful for a lot of people. You go into a fighting game, the game is fucking wild fast. You know what I mean? Like, fighting games are wild fast compared to a lot of other games. You, they're relentlessly on you, they're jumping and attacking you, and there's so much information you need to know. You know? And you can't blame your damn team. <laughs> 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 
Yo, what's up, Fearless? So it's just it's just a lot to take in for a lot of players. They just a lot of people are just aren't dedicated, you know. Like I said, I fighting games are still going in the right direction. Like they're they are still getting more and more popular. It's just not even close to the level, you know, of what people uh, really want. The only the only like type of fighting is I think that can really hit that level is like platform fighters. Just because they're so much easier to play at the base level. So much easier to play. Damn it, dude. But like Tekken and Street Fighter have plenty of classic competitive titles that also have big mainstream appeal. They're pretty big. Like we're having like million dollar turns and stuff. Like it's 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 getting there, but like if we <laughs> compare it to like something like FPS, dude, these guys have like giant stadiums full of people. S fucking stadiums, dude. And a lot of these people that watch this shit, like <laughs> You know, they play the game. There's a lot of people who are like fans of watching fighting games. They don't even play fighting games, you know? <laughs> like it's... It's wild, man. Like esports is fucking crazy. Dude, they're having like three K-pop concerts and shit, you know? Like it's being televised and you know, it's hardcore. My studies show that the monkeys uh, with white pants are very alert. It's hard to sneak up on them without being noticed. Okay, I gotta use R3 against those guys. <laughs> uh, uh oh. Break time. I'll be back in a minute, guys. Hey, I'm back. Sorry, I'm not trying to sound like super negative about it. It's just for fighting games to get to that level. It just requires, uh... It just requires us to give up a lot of the stuff that makes fighting games cool, you know? There is another way, but it would take, like, <laughs> decades to accomplish, and that's le le legacy skill. So what I mean is, like, Fighting games become so mainstream and popular that each generation is just so used to seeing fighting games and playing it that the legacy skill becomes common knowledge, right? So like, you know, like oh, FPS no. games. A lot of people who like play video games for the first time, they'll get into like FPS games. And that legacy skill just carries on, you know? But right now, Fighting games have been in a pickle for like a long time and they just started coming back, right? And... Maybe now, like this... This will be one of the craziest years for fighting games, right? 2023 is gonna be fucking nuts. We got Street Fighter 6 and Mortal Kombat and these might be like the biggest versions of this series each. Both coming out in the same year. Then Tekken 8 the year after. Right? And then Project... Project Snooze. It's like... It, that's huge. Not having a functional online play was a huge hurt. Yeah, Slim, that's a great point. I mean... That's what I'm saying, dude. Fighting games were... It was just... Guys... 
I'm sorry I have to pick on like DBZ and shit. They don't even fucking have rollback netcode, guys. It's 2023. It's 2023. They do not have rollback netcode. This is fucked up. It's so behind, right? Not to mention we have games like these nuts that comes out. It dies in like four days, right? They have, it has zero bare bones content. You just get ripped off. You just get ripped off, dude. You know, and it's like, yeah, you know, that's just going to piss people off. Look at KOF, right? Everyone on Steam just got, they just got, they just flipped the finger to them, man. They said, oh, we can't uh, recreate the matchmaking issues. Well, thanks for the money. See ya, you know? Hey, what's up, Zen? I'm doing great, man. This game is awesome. I love this game. Um. Ouch. Oh, man, that makes them jump out of the theme. So, yeah. Street Fighter 6 is going to be like an actual like full retail game. And, you know, it'll catch some people's attention. And it looks like Capcom's advertising it well. And then Mortal Kombat, hopefully the same thing, you know? And then, like I said, the more popular it gets, you know, with, with Project L, maybe someone will play Project L and be like, wow, this game's fun. I wonder what other fighting games are like. And then they try out Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter, right? And they're like, I want to try a more hardcore fighting game, you know? And then they get into anime fighters or whatever. And my point is, is that, like I said, the more popular this gets, the more legacy skill carries over. And then after decades and decades, eventually, you know, fighting games will become more of a mainstream genre again. Because remember, fighting games are one of the oldest video game genres they are. These are like, this is like, they're one of the oldest competitive games. It's back in the arcades, you know? And the arcades died for a reason. <laughs> they fucking died, dude. So it's, it's a big deal. The guided bullets in the slingback shooter consist of three rounds to one set. There are times the guidance will miss the target, but I can't help you there. Sometimes it happens, you know? Weird. Apple Arcade, what? It's... <laughs> what are you saying? Are you saying, like, phones? It's like... Are you saying, like, it's like, uh, you know, smartphones. And people slowly understanding how to use smartphones. Or slowly understanding how to use tablets. Or computers. You know? Legacy skill, I'm telling you guys. It also helps that, honestly, FPS games have been really shit lately. FPS, like, sucks right now. It's like a doo-doo genre right now. These companies have made so much fucking money. They've, like, run it to the ground. On greed. FPS used to be fucked. FPS used to have passion too, guys. Where's my Unreal Tournament? <laughs> there used to be passion. Shit's gone now. You know? Another thing too, you guys remember how we used to go through that phase where everyone's like, Oh, single player games are dying. Big single player games are dying. It's all multiplayer, you know? There's a lot of... Shit going down. Okay, what did that do? Oh. Cool. Um... Quake 3 Arena. Turn-based games are dead. Yeah. Persona. Damn, the levels are getting really big now. So like I said, hopefully I'm not trying to sound too negative about it, but uh, I think if you're someone who's getting into fighting games now, this is like the best time, dude. 
you've you've entered peak time. You know, now you you don't have to worry about netcode and the game dying in six days and this crossplay and shit, you know, like God man. Dude, back in my day, Boomer Arcade, back in my day guys, we didn't even have good joysticks, man. I didn't have no Mad Cat sticks. You know how annoying that shit was? I had to train MVZ2 on a Dreamcast controller. So I go on a Dreamcast controller, I go on the arcade, and it's like, shit, dude. Can I hit this guy? There we go. Just still, I'm still still like, fighting games are still, nice t-shirt, are still just really under, misunderstood, you know, like. People still think that skill is like, <laughs> it's weighted on just who can do the, the most damaging, longest hitting combo and shit, you know, we still have that. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to make it to this gate? True boomer struggles. I think the first arcade game to feature pad support was Tekken 5. Yeah, and, and now, now, uh, you know, controllers are, are standard now, you know? Ba dude, ba like I said, back in the Street Fighter 4 days, when someone, like, played on pad, you're like, oh, you play on pad? What a scrub, you know? And now it's like, pads are so welcome. Now it's like, you use hitbox? <laughs> you're a scrub. Or if you see someone use joysticks, like, oh, look at this boomer. It's funny. I hate to say it, dude, but... God. To swallow my pride. But that evil moment, 37. <laughs> that shit, like, technically saved fighting games at one point, dude. Because that was the only time... I'm fucking serious, I said it. It's the only time... <laughs> apologize. I ain't apologizing to shit. Dude, listen. It's the only time... Like, fighting games got any type of mainstream attention back then. Everyone's like, what? People still play fighting games? It came at a high cost, though. That's for damn sure. Can I crawl through this? So there's that little crack again. What's going on with this? That's the second time we've seen that. I got back in the fighting games because of the evil moment. See, there you go. So what I'm saying is... You know... Capcom's doing a pretty good job advertising their shit. We see, like, somebody walking away with a million dollars. And we're seeing all these tournaments and this hype and stuff. You know, that could be really cool. Get people's attention. And then they play the game, and they play online, they get their asses kicked, and then they flush it, but... At least, we're getting more people to know that it exists. There's gotta be more to this area. Come on. Can I go up here? There's a gate up here. Do I jump off this? Cool. <gasps> He's got an Uzi! I cringe so hard when someone told me anyone could become a pro now. He was so serious about it. I mean, if he uses modern controls, maybe he's right. 
Maybe he's right, man. He's probably a uh, Zangief main. You know? Shit, anything's possible now. Okay, can I grab this thing? You can't? Okay, good. What's this say? According to my study, monkeys in black pants are dangerous and wild. They usually wear dark shades and carry weapons. Okay, that's the guy we just fought. Guys, M Meta RD winning CPT twice, guys, is insane to me, okay? It's like a small community from the Dominican Republic grinded out Street Fighter V so hard. Don't forget, Kaba is crazy too. They grinded that shit out and became champions. That is the dream. And then, uh, the whole, uh, knuckle do thing, dude, I'm telling you, man, that was like the perfect dream Capcom wanted. They don't want it to be like this thing where like, you know, just Japan wins because the game comes out early in the arcades or whatever, you know, they want some young kid to win. It's like the dream PR thing you know that's the shit right there that's what they want four out of five Capcom cups on Street Fighter 5 or one on pad pad OP let's see here knuckle do gacha kun didn't use pad NRD twice item four and if item lost it still would have been pad with punk I hope any walker comes back strong Street Fighter 6. He was tweeting how he said the game was really overwhelming. He said that, uh... Well, he basically said the same thing as me. He said, like, he had to take a break. Like, it was too much. Oh, no. I can't see. He's waiting for that Ed DLC, so am I. So am I. I can't wait for the CPT to start, guys. It's gonna be so funny. I can't wait for you guys to uh, laugh your asses off me on me getting my ass kicked. It's gonna be so fun. the hell? Kakon should delay it. Oh, it's too late now. I wanted Street Fighter 6 to get delayed for a long time, but that ain't happening. What? He's got a new improved UFO. Uh-oh. Hey, there's another t-shirt here. Nice. Yeah, we're collecting a lot of lives now. Um, okay. Do I have to... Does this have, like, aim assist? Can't turn fast enough. No! Oh. Okay, we gotta be careful where we're standing. Can I jump up and hit it, too? No, he'll fly too high. He'll fly up when I jump up. Shit. No, I mean the CPT. Yo, no, I, I understand what you meant. I, I just said, like, you know, if they delayed the entire game, then it would work out. But they have to start the CPT season, you know? Because they want to time it so that it's once uh, after Christmas.
You're you're talk you're talk you want the CPTP to be delayed because of Overwatch 2, right? I like I said, I don't think uh Like, look, no matter what happens, guys, someone's gonna have an advantage, like I said before. Someone's gonna have an advantage, man. Someone's gonna be buddy-buddy with someone who works at Capcom. Somebody's gonna get flown out to review the game. Some journalist is gonna play it early. Someone's gonna be a friend of a journalist. There is, like... Like, you just can't control that shit, man. It's just someone's always gonna have an advantage, man. You know... But, at the end of the day... Oh, damn, I can't believe it is not stunned after that. Yes. yes! But, Freaky, you know, put it this way, bro. Like, keep in mind once again, it's only eight characters, man. Outdated eight characters. Outdated. You could be someone who's just grinding Guile, and then he gets nerfed day one. We don't even know how Guile is compared to the other ten characters, you know? Like, once, once day one happens, and someone starts grinding Marisa, you know, the advantage is gone. Look, this has happened before with Street Fighter V, okay? Street Fighter V leaked almost sooner than Street Fighter VI. It had zero effect on the CPT. It really didn't. No one complained about it. There were people playing it for months. With just as many characters. Na there was Nash, there was Bison. I forgot what the first beta had. Nash, Bison had fucking Cami. Right? I think there was Rashid. There was Birdie, Ken, Ryu. Okay? So that means all the top tier characters were already playable. You know? It had no effect on the CPT at all. Yes, obviously. You know, the first couple of weeks, if they run tournaments, you know, there's going to be someone with an, of a, an, an advantage, an edge, but... Once we get to the end of the year, there's no way. There's no way, man. Another thing, too, Freaky, is like... As long as you're... If you're someone... Okay, look how Daigo and Momochi and all those guys are dealing with it. All the, all the Japanese pros. They are on the fucking grind, dude. They really are on the grind. They are playing... 12 hours a day on the demo and they are crazy good like they are really good and i think they can they can go toe to toe with the overwatch 2 players right now i really do it's not like luke is a bad character and i think ryu is pretty good too that's two out of the eight and that's the updated version of the game so <laughs> i've been watching a lot of people slim okay and these guys have been on the grind. That means you can play the demo, you can understand the system, you can understand drive impact. Mechanically, Street Fighter 6 is definitely... I think it's the most complicated, Freaky. I think it's the most complicated, but... But, uh... You can, you can get a feel for the game on the demo. You really can. And then remember, all these guys, like... The combos and the setups and all that stuff. That stuff can be X copied within a week. Once someone sees a setup, they're like, oh, some pro player is going to be like, oh, I'm going to steal that setup. Boom. Then all those hours they put in learning those setups, someone's going to X copy that shit in a week. Dude, I can fucking X copy setups in less than a week, you know? It's like, and that is once again, though the circumstances are you need Overwatch 2 and you need to have somebody who lives in your vicinity that's just as good as you. I don't know. It's like, trust me. I think it's a little overblown.